Tyler. Andere? Blake, that's all I've got. Well, I told you to get more from home. I, I can't. My mum's ill. Oh. Mummy's ill. Poor mummy. Oi! Leave my brother alone, Lizzie. Don't. Stay out of it. This is none of your business. I said, leave him alone. And I said, get lost. Come on, Lizzie. No, stay. This has gone on long enough. You can't just control the school. Someone's got to do something about it. Yeah, but not me. If we stick together, he can't hurt all of us. No. But I can hurt some of you. It's got to be fast. You said, leave him alone! What? Bully! Don't ever touch my brother ever again! Do you understand me? In the hospital canteen. So did I, love. Hey, there's, there's something behind your ear. It's a doctor's note. <laughs> Letting us off of school. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, nice try. But you do need to get an education. So why are you sending us back to Hazelbrook? All right, Lizzie. OK, enough of that attitude. You're lucky they're taking you back. All I did was stand up to a bully. I know. And you know I tried to get you moved. I phoned every school around here and they all said the same thing. They couldn't believe you wanted to leave Hazelbrook. You're joking, right? Serious. Apparently this new head teacher's really turned the place around. Now come on, let's go. Oh, where are you going? I'm going to have a word with your teachers. No, you can't just leave Mum here on her own. Don't be silly. I'm feeling much better after my treatment in Florida. Well, how can you? You don't even know what's wrong with you. Yeah, you said the tests didn't find anything. Maybe I'm just getting better on my own. Go on. Off you go. Hey, come on, guys. We're going to be late. Please, Dad, you don't have to do this. Hey, I'm your dad. I'm here for you. Always. Blake's going to kill us. Yep. I've told you before. Any vacancies will be advertised on the school website. Please, go home and lose my place in the queue. Is that? I don't know, she must be new. Excuse me, um, you're here to see the head teacher? Yeah, you can't just walk in and see the head. My Charlotte's been on the waiting list for months. Sophie! Uh, I've got an appointment. We have oh. an appointment too. We... What? I'm sorry. What I... We have an appointment. This, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Sophie! Oh, I've missed you. I've missed you too. You could have messaged a bit more. Sorry, I was busy. With what? How was your mum? She's okay. Why are you in the wrong uniform? Oh, nobody told us it changed. You should have been informed. A disorderly appearance indicates a disorderly mind. Yeah, whatever. Either way, we can't afford new uniforms. The headmaster will help you. Oh, yeah, the new guy. What's he like? Inspirational. He's really turned the school around. Is that why everything's so different? Yes. Welcome, Welcome to, to the new Hazelbrook Academy, Academy, where every student is a star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw the sign. Why is he warning? Welcome back. I'm here to take you to the headmaster. You? Yes, I'm one of the student council's public reception officers, informally known as the welcomers. <laughs> this is a wind-up, right? 
Come this way, please. Good morning, Mrs. Marin. This is Lizzie Warren. Lizzie, this is our new deputy head, Mrs. Marin. Nice to meet you, Lizzie. Look at this. Every household gets a customised Hazelbrook tablet. OK. And we need to sort your uniforms out. Let's take a tour, shall we? Blake, take Lizzie's coat and back. May I, Lizzie? Thank you. We have a brand new football kit and a brand new attitude. Who's, who's that lad over there? Get the Prendergast! That's our soccer superstar, Ethan Prendergast. Yeah, it's good. He reminds me of a young Wayne Rooney. Get the foot! Pull it up! Get the foot! Shoot! is the key to success in school and in sport. Shall we go in? Now, academics. This is Jacob, our Shakespeare superstar. He can recite any sonnet you care to choose. Simply name your favourite. Just give me a number between 1 and 154, sir. And, uh, 58. Ah, yes. 58. That God forbid that made me first your slave, I should, in thought, control your times of pleasure, or at your hand the count of hours to crave, being your vassal, bound to stay your leisure. That's good. That's good. That's, that's Shakespeare. That's... The presence of cobalt salt alters the compound at a molecular level. The catalyst itself remains unchanged. Bravo. I thought you hated science. I thought so too. But now, thanks to Hazelbrook, I can be me. Wow. So? What's the new head like? He's inspirational. He's really turned the school around. Come on, you two. Just give him a chance. Yes, Dad. Yeah. Right. I need to go check on your mum. I'll see you after school. Love you. Did you just win that? Yeah, for football. Again. Oh, that's so cool. You're the Warrens, right? You've been away in America. Yeah, why? The headmaster will see you now. What's he like? Inspirational. He's really turned the school around. <clears throat> Lizzie and Tyler Warren. At last. Yeah, we were... I know. You were in America. And prior to that, you were excluded for fighting. That wasn't my fault. It was that bully Blake. Ah, oh, yes. Blake Vinny. Blake is a trigger. A what? Doesn't matter. Forget the events of the past. Now is your chance to make a fresh start. With our help and guidance, this door is never locked. OK, sir. Headmaster. 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 I look forward to working with you both. Look into my eyes. What 
What are you doing? This is our school. We should all take pride in it. So, what did you think of the headmaster? Inspirational. He's really turned the school around. We better go. £3.50 for a hot chocolate. Who can afford that? Lizzie, can you lend me some money? I want a hot chocolate with ginger and whipped cream. You hate ginger. Hot chocolate with ginger and whipped cream, please, darling. OK, Mum. Is that the deputy head's daughter? Yes, and she's making a massive profit off the school. Because she's the business study star. What even is that? It's her special study project. It's just like my robot. What? Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, I'm building a robot. You? You've never even plugged in a laptop. Hazel Brook Academy has made me discover my true skills and my real ambition. Come on, let's go to Chip Bam. No, 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 no. But I want hot chocolate with ginger and whipped cream. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, Lizzie, come on, please. You don't even like ginger. Yeah, Why would you I want to take it off? It's no, you fine. can't. You sprinkles. Just, you can't take off sprinkles. Those ginger. Carrot and cabbage smoothie, 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 please. Sudden, yeah. I like it now. No, you don't. Yeah. You suddenly, all of a sudden, like yeah. ginger. Yes. So all of a sudden, yeah. What's wrong, please. guys? She won't buy me a hot chocolate with ginger and whipped cream. Why? Don't you have enough money? Don't talk to us about money. You creep. <laughs> I was going to buy you a drink. No, you weren't. Why would you do that? To make you welcome. Everyone's welcome at Hazelbrook. And I'm a welcomer. Uh, that'll be four pounds, please. I'm not paying for it. I didn't even get my smoothie. That wasn't my fault. She grabbed it. She should pay for it. No, no, no. We haven't, we haven't got the money. We can't pay for this. We can't pay for it. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Disorder is the enemy of achievement, and mobile phones are for approved school use only. What happened? It was an unprovoked attack by Lizzie Warren, headmaster. So? Hmm. It seems we have another anger management challenge. But what do challenges give us? Opportunities! Exactly. I shall inform your parents of the situation, and you... Clean up this mess. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. And then why'd you say it? I don't know. Disorder is the enemy of achievement. No, you do it all wrong. I didn't mean to. I was just protecting Tyler from Blake. What did Blake do this time? Nothing. N no, but I thought... Lizzie, you can't keep doing this. We need to prove that this family is Hazelbrook material. Why? The whole school's gone weird and creepy. And the headmaster, he's... What about him? He's an inspirational educator and he's really turned the school around. Exactly. Now, come on, guys, we're going to make this work. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yes! What? I've just been accepted into the Superstar Supporters. The what? We are a dedicated group of family and friends of Hazelbrook School, helping to make every student a star. It's been on that thing all day. I'm going to have to start rationing your screen time. Mm. So you're going to show me that magic trick? Maybe tomorrow. 
Right now, I have to watch this documentary about artificial intelligence. That doesn't sound like your sort of thing. It is now. I worked so hard to make it nice. Whoever did this, they're going to pay. I'm going to get them. You? You ruined my beautiful school. Look, you can drop the act now. No one's going to snitch on you. What do you mean? Who else would do something like this except you? Attention, class. Vandalism is criminal. It is destructive and it will not be tolerated at Hazelbrook Academy. Will it? No, Headmaster. Thanks to Blake Vinny, who maintains our CCTV cameras, we've been able to identify the culprit. He framed me somehow. How could I? She's right there on the screen. Well, it wasn't me, OK? We can all see it's you. Expel her. Lizzie out. 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 We will not exclude Lizzie Warren. Come on, she deserves it. Instead, we will help her. We will prove that at Hazelbrook Academy, we can transform even the most troubled student, because here, every student is a star. Every student is a star. I'm not troubled, OK? That video is a fake. Who let Blake be in charge of CCTV? Don't you remember what he's like? He picks on little kids. He sets up the fire alarm every maths lesson. He burned down the canteen and blamed the dinner ladies, but we all knew it was him. Mrs. Marin. Come with me. This is ridiculous. Doesn't anyone remember? I know this looks bad, but I promise I'm innocent. It's Blake. He's framed me somehow. Lying will only make things worse, Lizzie. The evidence is all on camera. If it were up to me, you would be permanently excluded. You know what? Me too. Because this place is messed up. So go and chuck me out, please. And I'm sure that would make your parents very happy. I didn't, I didn't mean... Okay, I'm sorry. Please, my mum, she's not well. The headmaster is very aware of that, which is why he is giving you a chance to redeem yourself. You will sit in isolation and write 5,000 words on why Hazelbrook Academy will make me the best I can be. My office. Now. Why did you have to do this? I didn't. Look, that video is a fake. It can't be. You can only access the CCTV from the headmaster's office. 
when the door's never locked. No, you can't do that. If you get excluded again, Mum and Dad will take me out too and I'll never get to build my robot. I'm not going to get excluded, OK? That video is a fake, OK? And I'm going to prove it. Lizzie, please don't break any more rules. As bad as him. Maybe I am. Do you remember how I used to set off the fire alarm? No. Lizzie, Lizzie, no. You can't do this, please. I beg you, stop. You can't do this. We must determine the origins of this unscheduled event. Yes, Headmaster. CCTV. I'm just gonna get the original time code footage. Find out whoever was responsible and turn off those alarms. Yes, headmaster. Running around, setting off every fire alarm in the building. I thought we dealt with this problem. Every individual reacts differently. Unfortunately, relapses can occur. What made you do it, Blake? Alarms. I set off alarms. I take your money. I trash the school. Me, Blake. No, you don't. Look into my eyes. Blake, you were always polite and respectful. You keep the school neat and tidy, and you crave order and hate mess. Hate mess. Now you will return to your classes and continue to be a decent member of society. Decent member of society. Goodbye, Blake. Goodbye, Headmaster. And that goes for you too, Lizzie Warren. You knew I was here? I brought you here for a purpose. What do you mean you brought me here? I know you, Lizzie Warren, better than you know yourself. And given your history, you're the perfect subject. I'm not your subject. We are all his subjects. You're controlling her too. Just like Blake. Well, you're not hypnotizing me. <laughs> you already have. That's why I vandalised the school, because you got inside my head and you made me. Why? To prove the efficiency of my method. I can reform the most disruptive pupil. Yeah, by brainwashing them. It's over. I'm telling everyone what you're doing here. My parents, the police. You're going to get sacked for this. You're going to do time. You're finished. Such energy. 
Such determination. Such a clever girl. She could be very useful. You're not using me. Get out my school. Yes. I should go. Now my secret has been discovered. But before I leave, would you grant me one small favor and look into my eyes? Judge of that. What made you change, Lizzie? I don't know what you mean. Yesterday you trashed the school. Today you're a martial arts expert. It's unbelievable. How? I, I didn't. Didn't it's... what? Oi! That's back needs scrubbed clean. I didn't appreciate the chance I've been given. Now I can be the best I can be. Thanks, Auntie Beryl. Have you finished your homework? Yeah, I trained with the others and ran ten laps around the block. So four seconds off my personal best. Good boy. You keep your fitness up and keep training. One day we'll see you playing in the World Cup. If I'm that good, then why can't I remember playing? The headmaster explained it all. It's called being in the zone. It's what happens with genius. I'm not a genius. Uh -uh. What does the headmaster say? Every, Every student, student is, is a star. star. That's right. Well, sometimes collateral damage is unavoidable. Uh, I think you mean sorry, Mum and Dad. Apologise or you're grounded. What? No, 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 you can't ground me. It's Pioneers tomorrow. I can't miss that. No, you have to let me go, please. Well, I don't know. Tyler, what do you think? Alan? I think the Pioneers is a stupendous idea. I can't wait to join and be the best I can be. OK, then. Are you ready to be the best that you can be? Yes! Your platoon leaders, Leslie Warren and Angelica Marin. Well, of course she's a leader. Her mum stepped ahead. Yeah, must be nice to always get picked. So unfair. That's not very team spirited, ladies. What did you say? Hmm? Sophie? Becky, would you like to share it with the group? Remember, leaders, each recruit is your responsibility. Now, call your teams. Johnson F, Jones L, Whitaker B, Quinn R, Ginny B, Warren T, Guthrie W, Warren. Brenda Goss A. 
Grace M. Robert L. Daniels F. Summer D. Malloy P. Peterson K. Three, two, one, go, go, go! Yes, go, go, go. come on! Come on, everybody line up. Get more, get come more, on. get more. I can't do this. Please, I can't do this. Yes, you can. But that one goes underwater. If you skip any obstacle, it is a three minute penalty and your team will lose. So? So, you know how the headmaster feels about second place. We do not tolerate losers at Hazelbrook. Neither do I. He won't be skipping anything. But underwater. Please, you know I can't. You can and you will. Lizzie, I'm scared. Scared? You will be. You think I'm joking? Do you think this is funny? Okay, line up, everybody. Three, two, one. You heard what I said, now move. Come on. And now you're in second place. Disrespecting your leader. That's 50 push ups now, Prendergast. Some of you did well, some not so well. Next week we will run this course again. And this time the leader of the losing platoon will be demoted. Know the drill. Right. On, people. That's it. I expect to see every single one of you out here every day before school. 7 a.m. start tomorrow. Now go. Lizzie, we need to talk about what just happened. You were disrespectful and you were punished. End of. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 7. Whoa, what happened to you? You did. You've become a monster. Well, are you okay? Tyler! Do I look okay? I'm sorry. Prendergast, you're late. One minute. 73 seconds, actually. So? What are you gonna do? Give me 20. No. 30. Look, you can count all you want. I'm still not doing it. Do you want to go, Prendergast? All right, thanks, yeah. Prendergast, get back here. OK, now I've got your attention. Can we talk? Look, I need you on my team. Don't make me hurt you. Why are you doing this? And don't say it's to make me the best I can be. It's like you've got two different people in your head. Shut up, Prendergast. I saw it yesterday. One of you wants to protect your brother while the other wants to... I said to... shut up! Lizzie! <laughs> Lizzie, are you OK? Is everything all right? What happened? Ethan! It's OK, I've got her. Go back to the school and get some hot drinks and towels and stuff. Uh, how on earth did you do that for? Sorry, I had to wake you up somehow. Look, it's fine, just forget it. You said something really important earlier. I just said it's like you're two different people. No, 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 you said there's two different people inside my head. Does it matter? Yes, because it's true, okay? There's me and then there's... There's someone else. Oh. Oh. What's happened? Did you hit your head when you fell? No, look, we need to speak, okay? Somewhere properly. Okay, my house. After school.
told yourself to talk to me. I had to remind myself. It's pretty intense. And those your parents? Yeah. They're in Bolivia. Bolivia? They're anthropologists, so they travel a lot. Auntie. I know you. The Vandal girl. She's my platoon leader now. We need to work on violin stuff. Just don't let it interrupt your homework. Sure. My footy schedule. I know. You do all this training every week. Yeah, but I don't remember. How can you not? Do you remember trying to push Tyler into the water? What? No, but I didn't. Did I? But why would I try and hurt Tyler? I've spent my whole life looking out for him. Here's what I think. It's not you doing these things, it's something else. Making us. Us? What does it make you do? Play football. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, but I hate football. I like gaming and live streaming. But most of all, I hate not being in control. So how do we take back control? We do what the headmaster said. We work as a team. training today. Just don't want to. I just don't want to. I just don't want to. Get up, or I'll get the headmaster. No. I don't want to. At Hazelwood, every student is a star. You want to realize your potential and be the best you can be. No, I don't. I can't. What seems to be the problem, Ethan? I'm just not into football anymore. You can't make me play. I would never do that. I'm trying to help you. You believe that, don't you? So look into my eyes. Pretending to be ill, Hotel. I'm not pretending. Well, you can explain that to the headmaster. Get up! My head hurts so much. I know. You've disappointed me, Lizzie. I thought we were making progress. I don't, I don't want to do Vakagam anymore. How strange. Just a few minutes ago, Ethan Prendergast said the same thing about football, and yet there he is, playing more brilliantly than ever. Ethan! 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 What did you do to him? Well, why don't you tell me, as you're such a clever girl? We are all his subjects. She could be very useful. Look into my eyes, Lizzie Warren. Well, Lizzie, what did I do to Ethan? You helped him to be the best he could be. Exactly. And don't you want to be the best that you can be? Yes, Headmaster. May I return to my Vakagam practice now? Remember, conformity brings health and happiness. Resistance will only bring pain. Yes, Headmaster. Too. Me, you, the whole school. 
I know it sounds impossible. It's absolutely but... crazy. But it's the only explanation that makes sense. So you really believe me? So what do we do now? We have to get out of this place. Let's talk to our parents. No, listen, I've got something really important to tell you. It's about the headmaster. He's... He's... He's an inspirational educator. He helps us be the best we can be and he's really turned the school around. I'm proud to be a student at Hazelbrook Academy. I know, and I'm so proud of you. And I'm proud to be a student at Hazelbrook Academy. That's great, love. Brilliant. Hey, what did I say? <laughs> He's put something in our brains so we can't ask anyone for help. It's like being in a play. You have to say all your scripted lines as soon as you hear your cue. So we can't tell anyone about him. I even tried writing it down yesterday, but I couldn't. What about you? Same. But I did message my parents. I told them I need to move schools. Good. What do you think he's going to do? It's not him I'm worried about. It's me. You? What a freaks Tyler out. Ever since Blake held him under in his first swimming lesson, he... He's terrified, and I tried to push him in. My own brother. I mean, you know, you saw me. If that's what the headmaster can make you do, then... I'm staying at home Tuesday. If he'll let you. I do hope the rest of your team can keep up the standard. Okay. Three, two, one. Penalties, I lose my platoon. I'm sorry, I can't. Talk about this, you're going Just push in. Man. Get in. Yeah. Push him in. No. Push him in. 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 Well done. You just lost your platoon. I don't care if I lose. It's my brother. I'm not going to hurt him. Lizzie, are you OK? My platoon. I'm fine. Okay. 
it finished. <laughs> he did it. Beat him. Come round, Manston out. Victory dinner. Well done, Lizzie. You're showing great potential. You know you lost, right? I lost? Yeah. You couldn't make me hurt my brother. I don't care what you do to me. But I'll protect him from you, even if it kills me. Oh, Lizzie, I don't want to hurt anyone. You, on the other hand, are a dangerous person. Me? I know you think you're helping Ethan Prendergast, but if you continue on this path, you'll hurt him far more than you could ever imagine. What a lovely surprise. Sit down, dear. I'll bring you some snacks. I got a message from my parents. Oh, and? They want me to stay at Hazelbrook. No. Did you tell them about the headmaster? Yeah, he's an inspirational educator who's really turned the school around. Ethan, why would you say that? Mum and Dad have been doing important work for the benefit of humanity. I owe it to them to be the best I can be. Ethan! What? Auntie Beryl, tell me about Ethan's parents. They're pioneering anthropologists, doing important work for the benefit of humanity. Ethan owes it to them to be the best that he can be. Did you really message your parents? Yeah. Why don't you believe me? Because you sound... Ethan, tell me more about your parents. They're pioneering anthropologists. No, I know. Who... What are they like? They tell terrible jokes. Is your dad a rubbish dancer? Did your mum try and hug you in stop front of your talking. mates? Oh, stop talking. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It hurts so much. I didn't mean to. You were warned about this, Lizzie Warren. You're a dangerous person. The headmaster got to you too. He did this to you. He did this to all of us. Get out of my house. No, I'm not leaving. Get out! understand how serious this is. Making nuisance calls to the police is not at all funny. No, I do understand, okay, She but... really does. I have a disability myself, and we've taught the kids all about using the emergency line appropriately. You see? Imagine your mum was very ill, and the ambulance was late because of your silly prank. It was not a prank, okay? I was trying to tell you that the headmaster, he's... He's an inspirational educator, and he's turned the school around. Lizzie. I don't understand. Why do you keep doing these things? I'm sorry. We won't take any action. This time, to make sure it doesn't happen again. It won't. I'm really sorry. I... Oh. Mary. Mum. Mary, you okay? You okay, madam? Mum? Drink some water. How long are you just going to keep blanking me? You brought the police down to our house. You know stress makes my worse. What I didn't mean to. So why did you do it then? Lizzie, you okay? Yeah. I mean, are you okay? Last night you were... Can't talk it. Come on. Ethan. Where are we going? Ethan, what is with all the mystery? Shh. Found this last week. What is this? Is that safe? Just get down there. Yeah. 
Whoa. Didn't even know this place was here. Don't think anyone does. Thought it was a good place to talk. Yeah, about what? I saw a police car outside yours. Hmm. Yeah, I tried to call the police. I tried to tell him about the headmaster. Without me? I thought we were a team. You told me to get out of your house. What? Yeah. When I asked you about your parents. My parents are pioneering anthropologists doing important work for the benefit of humanity. That is exactly what you said. And so did your auntie. Well, that's true. So what did the feds say? Well, I couldn't tell him anything. Just kept saying the same thing. Inspirational. Really turned the school around. Exactly. We can't tell anyone the truth. Except each other. Most of the time. So Fezzy thinks kids aren't a threat. Let's show him he's wrong. Attention. Take your seats. Orderly rules, please, by school year. What was that? No. As quickly Come on, as you can. Quickly, quickly. Now then. Settle down, settle. Excellent. This week, we are taking the school science fair to the next level. You, our science and technology stars, will compete for the title of overall science superstar. It's so exciting. Sophie Johnson, you will take us through a series of chemical reactions. Leakert Rasul will be sharing his most recent findings on the properties of sound waves. Tyler Warren will be giving a practical demonstration on advanced robotics. <gasps> Normal timetables are suspended. As the whole of Hazelbrook Academy prepare for this important event, Mrs. Myron invited all parents, guardians, and caregivers. Their attendance is strongly recommended. Yes, Headmaster. Dismiss. Science fair. This is our chance. We can put something bad in the cakes. You want to poison the parents? No, I mean chili powder or salt instead of sugar. This is lumpy. You didn't serve your flour properly. We're never going to get it past her. Throw this away and start again. No. What? I'm done here. I need to work my presentation. The science fair is tomorrow. Exactly. We're behind on the baking schedule. Not my problem. Why can't you do it? As brand leader, my bandwidth is jammed with analyzing flow through and offering holistic solutions. You what? Obviously, none of you have any business experience, which is why I am CEO of Angelic Eats. So why should we help you make money? It's a trickle-down effect. A rising tide raises all boats. Raise this. Me. me? I'm me. You know. <laughs> Lizzie Warren. I might have known. He did it too, Mum. And she started it. Hmm. Sophie, Ethan, Lizzie, clean up to the headmaster. I believe you did that. It's not fair. If I'm going to be a science superstar, I need all the love time I can get. Why is it so important to you? Because. Science for success. The future belongs to those who know the answers. Out of my way. I'm going in there. Mum, no. No, Mum, please. <laughs> Good morning, parent or caregiver. Don't give me that. I'm here to see your boss. Regarding what? 
one will be funny. He's having a laugh. He's got my Blake coming in early, staying late. Mum, I want to. Don't listen to that. How can you say that's normal? Even when he's at home, there's something no right. Talking like a robot. Doing homework. No. There's something going on here. Mrs. Vinny, it appears that we must speak yet again. What do you mean, again? You will follow me. Just to warn you, nothing you can say will change my mind. I can't wait for the science fair tomorrow. He's gonna turn our families into zombies. Or worse. Ethan Prendergast, the headmaster, will see you now. Remember, don't look in his eyes. <clears throat> and you will be next, Lizzie. Lizzie Warren, what a surprise. I'm not looking at you. Don't be so childish. Oh, you hurt Ethan, I know you did. Ethan needed my help just as you do. Now, look into my eyes. No! Lizzie Warren, look into my eyes. again. Yeah. What is this? What am I doing here? Keep icing. You're really finished? No. I am finished. Most hypnotic techniques require the willing collaboration of a subject. How would I hypnotize someone? Against their will? Yes. yes. How would you sound? Sound? Yes. Obviously. 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 You just need a powerful speaker, a transducer, and an oscillator. Going high. Going lower. Is it still going? I can't. <laughs> Sorry. What was that? Infrasound. As low and loud as we could go. I've never felt anything like that before. I have. I think you have too. So, as you see, sympathetic resonance demonstrates the ability of sound waves to affect the physical world. There are sounds at both ends of the spectrum that none of us can hear. Ultrasound and infrasound. Certain frequencies can affect the molecular structure of the brain. Working on a level deeper than consciousness. Exactly. You seriously think he hypnotizes people using sound waves? He uses his eyes mainly, but it must be a part of it. I tried not to look into his eyes earlier, but I still did. So did I. The point is, it could be a way to fight back. Yeah. If we can disrupt his sound with our own. We'll go louder and bigger. Drown him out. I like it. As soon as he starts speaking. Honestly, Mum, you're not going to miss anything. It's just a boring science fair. Robo's not boring! We know, love. Don't worry. We'll be there. Well, it's just Tyler's robot. You can see that any time. And plus, Mum, you're not well enough to go out. You are in bed all day yesterday. Because of you! Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop this. Calm down. The both of you. I know you're trying to look after me. But Tyler's only in year seven. He's been picked out of all the kids in school. I'm not going to miss it for the world. Phosphorus is highly reactive and we store it under water. Phosphorus pentasulfide, however, is very different. It must not touch water. Because? It releases a 
deadly gas. So you see, the properties of a chemical compound are utterly different from its component elements. I'm boring you, aren't I? What? No, 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 no. I, I think um, it's brilliant. Really, really, yeah. Better than your brother? He's my main competition, you know. I wish you could both win. Thanks, Lizzie. You're welcome. All good? Yeah, it's all set up. The headmaster's due to speak at the end of the show. I better go in before they open the hall. Hi, I'm Blake. I'm one of the school's welcomers, and welcome to the Hazelbrook Academy Science Fair. Come this way, please. All parents and caregivers are welcome to the Hazelbrook Academy Science Fair. Science for success. The next eruption of Vesuvius will commence. Oh, oh, oh. Would the marvelous molecules display team wow. please proceed to the That is amazing. I don't think I understand any of it. Exactly. What a school. Heavenly muffins. Oh, do the proceeds go to charity? The profits are plowed back into Angela Keats. A business model with baked in growability. I'll have one, thank you very much. Welcome, parents and guardians. Afternoon, you have had a small taste of what Hazelbrook has to offer in the fields of science and technology. And now we present to you the work of our very best students, our scientific superstars. experiment on time. And now, Tyler Warren. Good, Tyler. Hi, I'm Tyler. I'm robot, operated by open source technology, acronym robot. Robo, for short. <laughs> Robo's eyes are cameras. Robo, I want you to calculate the number of different combinations that this cube can make. Calculating. <laughs> 43 quintillion, 252 quadrillion, 3 trillion, 274 million. Whoa, Robo, that's enough numbers for one You're day. You're welcome. But it's not all work. Robo loves to have fun too. Cue music. I like the movie. Come on, Robo. I mean, you're genius. How cool is that? Time to start setting up, Sophie. Yes, Headmaster. to be there. Ladies and gentlemen, your headmaster.
about to witness a display of unusual expertise in the discipline of chemistry. First, I wish to talk about my important plans for the school. The school is more than its teachers, more than its students. The school is a community, a community that includes every one of you. But a community must have a leader, which is why I must ask you to look into my... Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please leave in an orderly manner. We're gonna die again! Come on, come on, come on, You used to have an ultrasound wave, didn't you? To ruin my experiment. Did you plan this together? I thought you were my friend. No, Sophie, wait. May I have your attention, please? Once again, Hazelbrook has been targeted by a foolish prank. A prank? which could have had deadly consequences were it not for the headmaster's quick thinking and heroism. Well, who did it? They should be chucked out. Yeah. 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 Hazel Brook does not exclude we improve. The culprits will be dealt with and rehabilitated. There will be no repetition of this incident. Well, how do you know that? Because it's the grand finale of our science fair, I plan to announce a new cutting-edge safety initiative. Sophie, wait. Please, just listen. I can't believe I trust you two. Are you trying to help your brother or just jealous? Neither. These new safety measures are unusually advanced, but we will stop at nothing to protect our most precious resource, your children. System initiated. All units standing by. Seriously, you think the headmaster is a hypnotist? Yes. yes. How do you think you suddenly became so good at science? I'm a leap developer, like Einstein. Yeah, when did this development start? When the headmaster arrived. 
He's an inspirational educator who's really turned the school around. No, he's not. He's a con man. Master hypnotized us. All of us. I should have realized. How could I be a super brain? Me. Wait, wait, you are clever. That's why we need you. We don't know how he does it, so you can help us. Why would I want to do that? So we can stop him. Stop the man who made me a genius. A fake genius. Does it matter? Yeah. Of course it does. I never minded being thick because I didn't have a choice. But now you're telling me I do? Why would I want to change anything? It's just really necessary. Hey, we saw what just happened. We need to keep our kids safe. Which in your case means protecting your daughter from herself. Are you sure this is legal? Letters of agreement have been sent to all Hazelbrook tablets. If you approve, please sign. I don't know. No, but we should think about this. No, it's better for the kids. I'm going to say that. Mary, Mary, it's okay. Mum, you're right. Can we get some help, please? Some water. Mum, you're right. Can we get some help, please? Ethan. What's happening? What are they? Drink. I do owe you one. Cabbage and kale smoothie, please. No, I mean sprout juice special. Hot chocolate with sprinkles. Two hot chocolates with sprinkles and whipped cream, please. I don't have card, I've only got cash. Cash is inefficient. Yeah, well, it's all I've got, so take it or leave it. All right. I've got some change here somewhere. Ow! What happened? Something bit me. What? <sighs> Must be something sharp in the lining. Oh, no, it was just an old badge. What is it? What does it mean? Defiance against destruction. What's that? I am. OK, so two hot chocolates, cream and sprinkles. Hot chocolate? Is that even vegan? Well, you should know. You sell them. No, I don't. Hurry up. We're thirsty. Then take what you want. Everyone, take what you want. To each according to their needs. Really? Go. Wait, what? Unsustainable market model. You don't control me. Tool of the oppressor. Report to the headmaster immediately. I am so there. The drones are for your own safety and security. You deserve an education free from fear. Free? That word used to mean something else. Didn't it, Mum? I don't. I, I don't know. What happened to us? What are we doing here? Angelica, Mrs. Marin, there's really no need for you to be confused. I can explain everything, just look into my eyes. eyes. owe me money for drinks. I'm not running a charity here. What happened? Mum was in hospital again. What did you expect? You filled the school with deadly gas! Yeah, by accident! You just tried to stop the headmaster. Unacceptable levels of emotion. Give them a brief. Their mum's not well. Control your weaknesses. Command yourselves, and you will conquer the world. 
Control, Command, Conquer. So he's trying to control our emotions. What's that all about? I don't know, but even when Angelica saw that badge, it meant something to her. I mean, it was like it... Woke her up. Exactly. Do you remember what it looks like? Yeah. Hi, Angelica. Two hot chocolate, please. Cream and Mordora and sprinkles. Are you sure about this? Sure. I love sprinkles. Have a profitable day. a long shot. Yeah. It's a shame, though. This way, comrades. Move fast. But not too fast. Drone patrol in two minutes. You've got until then to prove that I can trust you. What? Why should we trust you? <laughs> I told you about the drone schedule. Now it's time for you to give me something back. Like what? Information. What else is there? Drones expected. One minute. 59. 58. 57. Okay, the headmaster's hypnotizing people. Ethan! Hypnotism? Really? Look, he wants to control everyone, okay? The kids, the parents. The teachers. Like my mum. I know it sounds paranoid. Yeah, but that's what they want you to think. Who's they? Hypnotism. That's why she's changed. Why I changed. Oh, we better bounce. Drum troll in 37 seconds. Me at your house at 1700 hours. That was easy. Hmm. Too easy. So I'm uh, upgrading Robo. Making some last minute adjustments. Yeah. Why are you stalking Ethan Prendergast? I'm not. You are. It's him, isn't it? He's changed you. No, he hasn't. Since you've met him, it's like you don't care about anything else. Not even Mum. Well, that's not true. Wonder who that is. Oh, not her as well. So rude. Lizzie, can you send the kid to bed? Like I want to stay. Actually, I think you should stay. You need to know the truth. No. So you can protect yourself against the headmaster. The headmaster? He's got the whole school controlled by hypnotism. No, Ethan, shut up. He's winding you up. Yeah, I know. If you see my sister, tell her. I want her back. Why won't you just tell him? Because he's my little brother, okay? And fighting against the headmaster, it gets you hurt, we both know that. So, how many of us are in this cell? Cell? Section. Unit. Resistance group. Just two of us. Well, three with you, if you're in. I need to know I can trust you. Same. Fair. So you help me take out the drones? What? How? My mum's login details. You can use them to control the drones. From the computer in the headmaster's office. Why don't you just do it yourself? I'll be creating the diversion. What diversion? 1227. That's all you need to know. Just be ready. Six. 
Can we trust her? What have you got to lose? Unauthorised intruders in Sector 4. Headmaster, what's happening? Emergency protocols have been activated. Drones have been dispatched. Unauthorised intruders in Sector 4. Password. Once I'm in, I can access the drone files from here. Unseemly display. Those things filming and recording the free citizens of this country. Every parent has signed the consent form. We live in a dangerous world. They welcome the extra protection of our flying guardian. Fascist! Shut up! The headmaster's an inspirational educator. He turned the school around. This man is the headmaster. Yes. Get him! <laughs> Command yourself. Control your temper. Conquer your baser instincts and all of you. Look into my eyes. I can't find it. There are no files on the drones anywhere on here. Ethan Prendergast. And Lizzie Warren. So, it's true. You sold us out? Yes. Cupcakes are sold out, but we have cookies. You told your mum and us. Now we've both got detention after school. I'll miss the visiting hours at the hospital and I won't see my mum. Can I interest you in a muffin? Come on. She's not worth it. Hmm. Have a profitable day. What is it? I need to get this finished for the presentation tonight. What presentation? What is all this? Angelica, please. I can't concentrate with you hanging around. telling you. You've got a bug. No, we've got a snitch. You. I didn't snitch. There's a camera somewhere in this room. It recorded our whole plan. That's how my mum knew you'd be in the office. It wasn't from me. I saw it on mum's computer. Okay. Where's the camera then? It was filmed from this angle. It must be somewhere over here. Yeah, yeah. Don't believe her. There's nothing there. She's a liar. Yeah, but there was something here yesterday. Or someone. Robo's not a spy. It has. 
has cameras and mics. The headmaster's been watching us through this thing. But he didn't build Robo, I did. You built what the headmaster made you build. Oh yeah, that's right, because the headmaster hypnotises everyone. It's true, he does. I'm not falling for this. Tyler, listen to me, all right? You want to know why I changed? It's all because of the headmaster. That's why I do martial arts. That's why I play football. That's not how hypnotism works. The headmaster has powers way beyond any normal hypnotist. He can change your whole life. He changed mine. How? I don't know. But we can find out. There's something important happening at the school tonight. What? Not sure yet. Some kind of special meeting. But if we had a spy... You're not using Robo. Lizzie, tell them. Don't you want to know the truth about the headmaster? What do you want me to do? I can get Robo past the drones. You just need to reprogram him to send a live feed back to us without alerting the headmaster. Can you do that? I don't think so. I used to be able to hack just about anything, if I can just remember how to do it. You need something to help you focus, like the badge did for me. You're right. I need something from my old life. Okay, meet me outside school. I'll shout you. Me, Mom, Dad, we're a team. We got this. You sure you know what you're doing? Yeah, yeah, this is an easy job. <sighs> no trouble. I've been coding since... Well, since I was... Use the photo. <sighs> Stop, it's hurting you. No pain, no gain. You need to move soon so we can hit the next gap in the drone patrols. Okay, guys, be careful. Remember, the headmaster can't know we're working together. Why not? What's he going to do to us? Whatever he wants. He can make us hate each other and hurt each other. No way. He tried to make me push you under the water. That was him? Yeah, and I almost did it. So I don't know if I can fight him off. He won't catch us, okay? Now, it's time we put Robo into stealth mode. Stealth mode activated. Drone patrol window in 31 seconds. Control, command, conquer. Control, command, conquer. Hazelbrook Academy. The school of tomorrow. Available for your investment today. Good evening, sponsors. Sponsors? Business people. They put money into academy schools. The film you have just seen demonstrates just one day in the life of Hazelbrook Academy where every student is a star. I'm sure you'll agree that your money has been put to excellent use. I have a question. A question? It's about adding value. How good were these kids to start with? I'm glad you asked. Lake Vinny.
Blake has a record of challenging behavior. His lack of cell control and low intelligence make him an undesirable student, and yet, within a few short months, he's become a model pupil. This is the Hazelbrook difference. This is the system we want to roll out to other schools as we launch the Hazelbrook Academy chain. He wants to take over more schools. Is this where he hypnotizes them all? Whatever your business model requires. Hazelbrook can provide it from a simple janitor to a rocket scientist. Our system ensures a supply of motivated, contented workers who will obey your commands without question. I guess some people don't need to be hypnotized. Yeah, sure, but how many schools are we talking here? There are no limits to what we can achieve together. Control, command, conquer. He wants to take over the world. There'll be no escape for anyone. Control, Control command, command, conquer. Control, command. Only. Major, this is him now. I'm kidding. Get him out! I am! He's going haywire! Initiating exit protocol. Robo, please! Malfunction. Robo's going to destroy himself! Ow. Nice. I don't know how to stop it, please! Ow. Robo's in trouble. I have to get him out. Wait, wait, no! I'll get Robo. Um, you look after Tyler. Major, malfunction. Robot. Malfunction. Help me. Robo broken. It's okay, I've got it. Come on. Help me. Robo broken. Just leave it. Come on. Ethan, come on. Adebayo family outing Tembe 2016. Your family? I've lost the signal. No. We have to find Lizzie and Robo. We can't. Not now. Ethan, it's me, Lizzie. Ethan, you okay? What's happening? Mm -hmm. Adebayo, is that your real name? Ethan. Trace parcels. There may be others. Go and check. Ethan. Perhaps next time you'll heed my warning. What is it? What's wrong? You are Lizzie Warren. Just help him. Please do something. We can't. We can't just leave. Maybe we have to. Tyler, shh. No. Run. Hey! When I give you the signal, you will wake up. You will be calm and content. There is no reason for you to feel alarmed or unhappy. Will he be okay? That is up to you. Adebayo. Is that Ethan's real name? Haven't you learned by now that curiosity is dangerous? I just want to know the truth. Are you sure? Yes. I believe you wish to read this. Ethan's mum and dad.
Victor and Kemi Adebayo were killed when a drunk driver smashed into their car. He doesn't know. You've seen what that knowledge does to him. Yeah, but his parents died. He's devastated. Emotions must be controlled. Self-command is essential. That is how we shall conquer the world. Lizzie, what's wrong? Lizzie, what's wrong? Ryan, Ryan, get dressed now, or I'm calling the social to take you away. I mean it. Blake, leave that and sort your brothers. I have to be in school early. School? School? Oh, I'm sick of hearing about that school. Well, we're no bothered, are we, boys? If you don't care about us, we don't care about you. Goodbye, Mum. Have a productive day. Nobody cares, Blake. Did you hear what I said? That's a fact of the matter. Nobody cares. Master changed you. When he finds out what we did last night, what's he gonna make you do to me? No, he doesn't know you're a part of it. But he saw Robo. Then I'll just say I borrowed it. Him. Him. Whatever. Look, I'm still your big sister. And I'm keeping you out of trouble. How? You said it yourself. The man's got superpowers. Who are you talking about? The headmaster. He is an inspirational educator. I know. I don't know how he does it. But we do. It's his phenomenal charisma and hard work. Too right, top bloke. Oh, not that old thing. What? Well, you said that had personality. Yeah, a bad one. <laughs> Go and get the blue tie. Why is Dad wearing a suit? He, he never wears a suit. He's spending the day with the headmaster. What? <laughs> They're going on a visit with the PTA. Uh, sorry, superstar supporters. He can't, Mum. It's OK, you two. I can manage without him for one day. But you've just came out of hospital. And I'm feeling much better. You said the test still didn't find anything. Exactly. So there's nothing new to worry about. I'm fine. Lovely. Dad, you can't leave Mum on her own. <laughs> Excuse me, who's the parent here? You go, love. I know the headmaster's relying on you. Yes, he is. Right. Come on, let's go. But why? Because today is the first day of a new era. Today, I and other representatives of Hazelbrook will visit three failing schools. We plan to expand our academy chain and bring these schools into the Hazelbrook family. Hazelbrook's back to its final. Hazelbrook students are not just high achievers, they are motivated, healthy, and contented. Every school should learn to be more Hazelbrook. Be more Hazelbrook. The alternative is misery and chaos. While I'm away, Mrs. Marin will be in command. Mrs. Marin. Headmaster. He's really gone. Yeah, but for how long? will be away from school until 3 p.m. But we have put new measures in place to ensure that we can continue to be more Hazelbrook, even in his absence. Welcomers. 
For your safety and security, we have recruited new welcomers. They have been provided with direct security links that can summon drones in seconds. Sophie? These devices can also record sound and video. Any evidence of rule violation will be uploaded immediately for the attention of the headmaster, no matter where he is. Do you understand, pupils? Yes, Deputy Headmistress. What happened last night? The headmaster wrote to us again. Couldn't find my parents' photo. Must have taken it. Yeah. Well, don't worry about that just now. We've got a whole day without him. We're going to make the most of it. What's the plan? Meet me in the toilets, 10.43. We need to get Robo back. The Resistance needs him. No. I've already told you, just keep your head down and stay out of trouble. Unauthorised conversation. We sound just like the drone. Second warning. Proceed directly to your learning opportunities. Or we will inform the headmaster. Seeing things from your past can trigger the brain map. Yeah. We need to get out there. Wake up as many kids as we can today. No. No? It could be dangerous. You don't know what the truth could do to them. I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to wake other kids. I'm going to wake my mum. Straight to the top. Love it. Fighting the system was my mum's whole life. If we can get my old mum back, the headmaster will be toast. So how do we trigger your mum? Guess who's coming to the school today? Her ex-girlfriend. Ooh. A journalist. Not just any old journalist. Kerry, you remember? She was one of us. Don't you recognize her? I knew a lot of people in the old days. They're not important now. What, seriously? But what about the t-shirts? Defiance against destruction. Doesn't that mean anything to you? I don't think the headmaster would approve. But the headmaster wouldn't want you to turn down free publicity, would he? Not when he's out there teaching the world to be more Hazelbrook. Be more Hazelbrook? Yes. I think we should speak to this journalist. Thanks, Mum. Oh, and from now on, on school premises, you will refer to me as Mrs. Mack. We'll soon have you fixed up, right? confiscated this he robot because he... Him. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> you broke the headmaster's rules. Miss, help me, please. Blake, control yourself. Blake, this is not Hazelbrook behaviour. Be more Hazelbrook. Shine your screen for you, miss. Oh, I have an appointment. Return that thing to the confiscation cupboard. The headmaster will deal with it when he gets back this afternoon. What about his mind? You can't stop. The drones detected this unauthorized person. Shall we inform the headmaster? I authorize this visit. Stand down. Welcome to Hazelbrook Academy, where every student is a star. The arts have missed you. <laughs> so, what's up with the drones? Didn't have those when we were in school. I was assured that this would be a positive interview. It will be. 
you know, Kerry, she's one of the good guys, <laughs> fighting fake news, putting the truth out there. Yeah, that's me. God, isn't this amazing? It's just like the old days. Mum, Kerry, Kerry, Mum. <laughs> I've told you, in school, I'm Mrs Marin. I know, we all have to be very careful about appropriate behaviour these days. So, Beata Marin, the deputy head. No, I can't get my head around it. Do you remember you once told me that conventional schooling was a cruel and unusual punishment for the crime of being young? Well, this is hardly a conventional school. Well, come on, Mrs Marin. Give me the tour. <laughs> well, Hazelbrook is more than this academy. Hazelbrook is a way of life. We like to think of it as a 24-7 educational experience. It's like she doesn't even remember Perry. Look her. She's like a zombie. Maybe we need to up our game. Hi. Well, I reckon the headmaster's using more than one sense to control people. Yeah. You said visuals and sound. Exactly. What if we use them all? You mean smell, taste, touch? Yeah. And I'll take care of sound. I love it. Speak later? Cool. It's not working, is it? Not yet, but we have a plan. It's nearly lunchtime already. Just be careful, okay? Hypnotism's really deep inside her brain. Mess with that, anything could happen. Seriously, what happened to you? What do you mean, last night? I told you everything I know, why? You seem different now. I'm scared. Ethan, I'm terrified. Why? What did he do to you? Not me. You. Me? Your parents, they Parents of pioneering anthropologists. How do you know that? I message them all the time. Do you? Or do you just think that you do? I know I do. He changes our memories, Ethan. We don't know what's real and what's fake. We know our parents are real. Do we? Do we? And I'm feeling much better. Lizzie. Lizzie, what's up? Slow down. Running against the rules. Lizzie Warren, halt. Sophie, I just need to see my mum, please. An authorised absence. Carl Jones. Alerting headmaster. Okay, she's been acting real messed up. This whole place is messed up. True. What are you doing? Looks like I'm building a new robo. Why? Can't you mend him? Blake took him. Blake? Leave him to me. I'll make him give robo. No, don't. He'll just come after me. You're really scared of Blake, aren't you? Yeah, well, he's always been a bully, but... Now the headmaster's made him even worse. Now he's scary and creepy. Listen, we've got a plan, OK? We're going to unhypnotize Angelica's mum, and then she'll help us get rid of the headmaster. It's going to be OK, all right? Yeah. But Blake will still be here. You saw me this morning. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought I did, but I just I had to be sure. Oh. I'm here. In this room. Everything. You know I want to help, don't you? And I want to tell you, but I can't. I understand. No, you don't understand. But I want to. So maybe you could try and explain. Say you have a friend, and 
everything they believed was a lie. But the truth is way worse, like, worse than they could ever imagine. What would you do? Lizzie, I wish you could tell me what's really going on. Well, so do I. All right. I'm not going to push you anymore. But I will say this. Secrets can hurt people. Even if you think you're keeping them for the right reasons. Come on. You can do this. Technology students can unlock their full potential in our state-of-the-art cyber... As you can see, Tyler Warren is designing a state-of-the-art robot. That sounds very state-of-the-art. Do you mind if I grab an interview with you from my website? You're a journalist. Uh, that's great. It's just, um, can we do it later? It's just I have to set something up for you to see. OK, meet me later at Angelica's. I've got some filming to do there. Great. <laughs> Geography? Let's show the world the real Blake. Compared to what you used to do, your new job is a bit of a departure. Is it? Well, there can't be many deputy heads who've been arrested as many times as you have. Arrested? All the time. Remember? Those in power are killing us all. Save the world through civil disobedience. <laughs> disobedience is not a problem at Hazelbrook. Our students love to learn. They are motivated, healthy and contented. It's quite a bold claim. Can you back it up? Ask any student, any teacher, any parent. They'll all tell you exactly the same. Yeah. Exactly the same. Ethan! I need to talk to you. Can we do this later at work? No. I'm afraid I'll chicken out or he'll get to me before I can... Please, it's about your mum and dad. What about them? They're not coming back, Ethan. They're gone. You know, gone to Bolivia. Whatever happens here, I know they're okay. And I guess that sort of keeps me going. Gives me the strength to keep on fighting. Yeah. Yeah, fighting the headmaster. When we beat him, and we will, and we can't be hypnotised anymore, and we all know the whole truth. When we're free? Yeah, then. Whatever happens, I'm here for you. I know. Resist. Resist. Well, come on. You've got something to do. You've still got a couple of hours before he's back. Where are we going? So, what are you doing? Waking Mrs. Marin. Sight, smell, taste. Touch and sound. Our song, remember? Is that smoke? Tea. One special herbal blend, remember? Takes me back to that protest in Ethan Forest. Mm. Remember the campfires, cheating ourselves to the fence. You know, they say smell is the best sense for triggering memories. But I think taste is important too. As well as vision and sound. And touch. Please, 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 Mum. Come back. All morning, this woman has spoken to me like she knows me. And I have never seen you before in my life. Is this some sort of silly practical joke? No. Mum, listen to me. The joke's obviously on me. But it's not very funny. No. Please wait. You've got to help us. You need to know the truth. 
Wait, stay, please. Why? You're a journalist, right? You can help tell the truth about our school. Which is? Headmaster's Head inspiration, inspiration education, education is really turning the school, school, school around. Hi, hello! See all this? Then you'll know the truth about Hazelbrook. Who broke the rules? <gasps> I'll break your tiny pieces. Don't you dare touch my brother. Not him. Uh, thank. No! Blake! You see? He's just a bully. A big, stupid bully! That's enough! No! Keep filming! The world has to see what this place is like! I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. That's right. You should follow the headmaster's orders. He don't even know why. What do you get out of it? The headmaster doesn't care about you. Nobody does. Nobody cares, Blake. 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 Are you okay, mate? Ah! Violence. Traumatized kids. Is this what you wanted me to see? The dark side of the perfect school. They only ever wanted you to tell the truth. That's what I do. Leave it with me. No. Welcome back, Headmaster. Why have you returned so early? You're supposed to be gone for the whole day. I was concerned by your reports of unlawful activity, including yet another violation by Lizzie Warren. No, no, no I, just, I just went to see Mum. Thank you for your vigilance. Thank, Thank you, Headmaster. Master. And you are? This is Kerry. She's an online reporter. I invited her. Lizzie, why did you do that? I just wanted to show her what the school was like. I was just trying to be more Hazelbrook. Hmm. I think you and I should talk in my office. I think not. Funny, they all went on and on about you, but they never told me your name. You will address me as headmaster. Fine. You wouldn't want to see your name in this report anyway, Mr. Headmaster. Hazelbrook Revolution. Inspirational leadership has given people who are searching for a cause something to believe in. A new order focused on the individual needs of every student. She's been got. Control, command, conquer. Control, command, conquer. Control, command, conquer. Where have you been? Sucking up to that headmaster again. Don't you walk away from me. Fine. Be like that. See you back here. I've had it with you, Blake. I just don't care anymore. Everyone does. Even Blake. And we've all got triggers, maybe he has too. We just gotta find out what he really cares about and then... We don't know anything about him. Not even his name. Maybe he's an alien. Even aliens have to come from somewhere. Where was he before Hazelbrook? Nobody knows. So we gotta find out. Come on. All of us. If we work out who he really is, then we can find a way to stop him. From 
remember the Eddie Hair show? No. Then you probably remember the rumors. Was there really an episode where a headmaster tried to hypnotize the viewers? To find out the shocking truth, click here. What do you call eight times 3.142? 25.142. Wrong? How can it be wrong? Because it's not a math question. It's, it's sort of like a joke. A joke? Yeah. 3.142 is pi times 8. The octo. Octo pi. What? <laughs> Don't look into his eyes. Look into this. What does that mean? Look into what? It's a school bag, covered in octopuses. This doesn't make any sense. What do the numbers mean? Their coordinates. Quickly, we're gonna run out of time. Angelica, hurry! Got it. That's weird. It's blank. There's nothing on there. There's gotta be something there. We're gonna find out. Tomorrow. It's a worse bee. Attendance confirmed. It's near a town called Conningham. We can get there in the bus. But what about school? Somebody out there knows who the headmaster really is. The sooner we find out, the sooner we can bring him down. OK, so how do we get out? I've hacked into the attendance system. It thinks I'm at the dentist. Oh. Can you do the same for us? Too risky. He knows both you and Lizzie are on to him. We can't all be at the dentist. Ethan, pretend you have the sports injury. They'll send you home. Here it goes. You two need to think of something. Bus leaves in an hour. Ethan Prendergast, you are defective. What? No, I just had my leg running this morning. You will return at midday after seeking medical treatment with a parent or caregiver. Attendance denied. Blake. Lizzie and Taylor Warden. Attendance confirmed. Blake, are you okay? I'm at optimum capacity and ready for another productive day. But yesterday you were. What? Nothing. He's a bully, okay? Don't engage with him. Stay out of his way, alright? So, how do we get out? Well, we're registered as being here, so they won't connect us to the others. I guess we'll just have to wait for first period and then sneak. What is that music? This way, everybody. Here we are. Uh, what's going on? Attention, please. Your headmaster. Today we welcome the education board and students and staff of Manor Park School. Manor Park believe in allowing its student council to influence school policy. After today, you will all be eager to join the Hazelbrook Academy scheme. Soon, you will all be just like us here, where... We can all express our true selves. <laughs> As a specialist arts academy, I'm sure our Manor Park guests will enjoy this day of cultural activities, culminating in our production of Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. The Hazelbrook Arts Programme allows you to be your true self. Dismiss. This way? I don't understand. Music, these pictures, suddenly we're putting on a play. Manor Park is really arty. It's the only good thing about their school, so he's having to fake all this so he can take them over. And that's why we've got no drones. This way to the abstract sculpture class. At least it'll be easier to get out of here now. I just feel like we're throwing that other school under a bus. What other choice do we have? I can stay here and try to stop him. You, on your own. Yeah, me 
on my own. I'm a lot smarter than you think. For a start, I can get you past Sophie. Go on then. Hey, Soph, have you learned all your lines yet? What lines? For the play. You're the lead, and rehearsals are just starting. What? I can't act. I'm a scientist. I need to go see the headmaster. There you are. Of course, I'm here. It's a school day. School? Well, what are you learning? You're just cleaning all day. You're not even getting paid for it. Can't talk now, Mum. You can't talk now. You can't talk at home. You sulk in your room. You won't even come down for your tea. What is going on with you? What's it to you anyway? You don't even care. Well, don't you go rag on me. This is his fault. I know it is. This time, I'm not leaving until he tells me the truth. So, this is the blank place on the map? Doesn't seem very blank. The mystery zone is over there. That building. You? Uh, yeah. Hi, Blake. I'm, um... I'm helping with the electronics for the... The play. Mum was right. I'm just an unpaid cleaner. And nobody cares. That's what you said. Nobody cares. Blake, sweetheart. Oh, you're doing such a good job. The headmaster and I are so proud of you. It's the forest for my play. So you are going to act? I'm playing the lead, Titania, the fairy queen. What about your science? I don't do science. I do extra drama because I'm playing the lead, Titania, the fairy queen. Yes, you said. This is where the coordinates lead. So it's his school? It's his school, isn't it? Be the best you can be. We could be walking into a trap. Why warn us then? Hey, the gate's unlocked. There's nothing about St. Champion's school online. Someone's done some serious work hashing it all up. Over here! Look at this. Recognize that? The octopus symbol. It's the same. The bag must be in the school somewhere. If what's the code? How do we get in? I'll try 888 because of the octopus. Guys, it's right under our noses. Hopscotch. A little kid's game. Exactly the sort of thing he hates. Inefficient use of time. And it's only got four numbers, so put in two, four, five, six. In that order? Yeah. We used to play it a lot. He's in there, isn't he? Waiting for us. No, this doesn't feel like him. Doesn't feel like him? Yeah, but like the weird clues, the jokes and games, it's not his style. Whatever. I have to know what's in that bag. I'm going in. has got to be his old school. Do you think he hypnotised them all? Yeah. This place is seriously messed up. Mom. 
It's just an old school, guys. It can't hurt us. Can it? Depends what's in it. Focus, guys. We need to find this bag. Angelica, wait for us. Tasks and small achievements. Somebody says to you. You know. You know about the boy! No, someone please help me! An authorized use of force. You will come with us to the headmaster's office. No. Take him. Please. Oh, she should have just waited for us. This place is immense. Angelica! We're gonna get lost. Where is she? Angelica. Come on, we've got to find her. Angelica! 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 Are you okay? Fine. <laughs> Just took me by surprise, okay? What did? <coughs> what that? That made you scream. Shut up and just help me search the cupboards, okay? <laughs> oh, oh my! It moved! Clue. Come on, the skeleton's pointing the way. No, but it really moved. Your school's creative program is amazing. It's just so free and cool. It's always like this. It's. It's. This is a set far in the Hey, Mrs. M. Theme. Love the abstract sculpture class. The Hazelbrook kids are so lucky. Thank you. Now, let me show you backstage. We are very lucky. Tyler, I believe this is yours. Robo! Thanks to Hazelbrook, I can be my true self. May I take that for you? Is this good for real? I'm telling you, it must be a clue. And I'm telling you, it's all rubbish. It means nothing. Can't we just get on and find this bag and get out of it? Oh, no way. <laughs> How could I have been so slow? We used to have one of these old things in the commune. So? So, we're looking at the wrong side. That's it. That's the clue, 23 is the square root. Not another pun. Well, what's 23 times 23? Um, 529. Are you sure? Excuse me, I ran a cafe for five months. I know multiplication. Ethan, is that right? Ethan? 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 Four days will quickly seat themselves in night. For now, our observation is performed. Go now and seek the fighter. This place is sweet. You pick your own subjects and all you have to do is express your true self. So we agree, right? We want Manor Park to be the same. Mm -hmm. I need to tell you the truth about Hazelbrook. Hazelbrook is a national centre of excellence. Yeah, okay. No, you don't understand. I'm trying to tell you that Hazelbrook is a national centre of excellence. You're right. We've got to... Oi, mate, 
that you're expressing your true self. <laughs> I like to keep the school neat and tidy. Tidy this. Oh, no. I hate miss. Why are you telling us? We don't care. No. Like... I was just messing about. No, I didn't mean that. Blake! Stop! Ah! Help me! Blake! I'm Stop! I'll answer your question! I'll ah! tell you who the voice is! Cool it off! Go on. I'll tell you on one condition. I don't do conditions. Especially not with you. You leave me alone. Because you can bully me as much as you like. But it won't change anything. Just tell me. It's the headmaster. The headmaster? The headmaster has hypnotised the entire school. He's the biggest bully here. People are laughing at you because of him. Are you? Do you actually want me to be your... You saw what happened to your mum. Blake! Listen, the reason your mum keeps changing is because he hypnotises her. And all of us. It's the truth. Ethan? 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 There's a phone ringing. It's coming from in there. Yeah, Angelica, wait, it could be a trap. No. We have to go in. <laughs> Answer it. Who do you think he is? Headmaster of this place? But I thought our headmaster was. Is that him? Ethan? Where are you? I'm trapped in here. Help me. You, we don't know where you are. I'm in here. Just get me out of here. How did you get in there? I don't know. A door just shut behind me. What door? There is no door. Well, it just opened when I answered the phone. That's the phone. Answer it. Hello? Look into my eyes. It's him, Look isn't it? No, our headmaster. There's a different voice. What's that name? Look into my eyes. Look into my what eyes. What do you want? How do we get Ethan back? Did you see that? His eyes? They moved. And now, honoured guests from Manor Park, I'd like to welcome you to a Midsummer Night's Dream. Now, fair High Potter, our nuptial hour draws on a face. He said he hypnotizes people. Mm -hmm. This doesn't make any sense. Look, we've answered the phone. Why didn't the door open? Don't ask me. Just the fool who fell into the trap. Yeah. It's a trap. To stop the wrong person getting the bag. Okay. So we need to prove we're the right people. How? By solving another clue? What clue? It's dark in here. Look into my eyes. Look, maybe if we follow the direction of his eyes, then. They're looking down towards the desk. He's looking at the phone. 
Just open the door and let Ethan go. Look, maybe dial a number? The puzzle downstairs, what was the answer to that? Uh, 529. Sworn as bed and company. Come, my lord. The actors are just puppets. They have to do exactly what they're told. Which is how I'm going to ruin it. Okay. Sophie, Q153. Becky, Q153. Come, now Randall, in a fairy song. Hey, that's no, my line. That's my line. Sound Q46, light Q21. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, uh, Robo, now Come now, a Randall and a fairy song. Hey, In get that thing off! Uh, I'm the fairy queen! Uh, 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 my name is Robot. What's happening? <laughs> Robo, get off! Let's do it one more time. I'm getting up so far, Robo! It's not Come fair! A Randall and a fairy song. Tyler Warren, how disappointing. I don't know what you thought you were going to achieve. I have to show them what this place is really like. You don't care about art or place. That's inconsequential. This play will be a success because I say so. Tell me where your sister is. GPS coordinates, 51, 36. 48.0. Look what I found. <laughs> you found it. Uh, we found it. What even is that? It's an old video. My mum had a player. Somebody set this all up. Yeah, someone with a twisted mind. That guy? Yeah, or our headmaster. No, I think whoever set this up is trying to help us. Cool. Let's get out of here. Yep. Why are they filming us? What is this? This order is the enemy of achievement. Conformity brings happiness and health. What do you want from us? He wants what's in the bag. Give it to me. Now. Okay. You can have it. Angelica, go! Get away from here! Just leave us alone! Stop! Stop me! Restrain him. him! How is he doing this? Surround them! Take the tape! Leave us! Stop! No! No! Resistance only brings pain. Obey, or your friends will get hurt. Get away! You can have it. Just let my friends go. Let them go. Sorry the headmaster couldn't see you out, but I think we're all agreed. The play was a success. I look forward to becoming part of the Hazelbrook family. <laughs> Something awful's happened, Mrs. Marin. That's our minibus. I do apologize. I'm sure the headmaster will deal with this. There must be a 
must have been something massive on that tape. Something you didn't want us to know. Yeah. And now we never will. Ah, you still got the cover. Yep. There's a bit of paper in here. Yeah, we know. It's blank. Whoever wants you to go to that school was really clever. And they liked games. And tricks. My name is Dinah Hunter. And if you're reading this, then it's happening again. So, that's it. There's nobody to help us. Nobody except us. We have to keep fighting. All four of us. Five. Blake, remember? I told him the truth. No, we still can't trust him. He graffitied the mini boss, not Blake. Okay? Loads of times, but I didn't get an answer. Idle chatter is unproductive. Proceed swiftly to your learning opportunities. Where's Blake? Blake Benny is no longer a welcomer. The expansion of Hazelbrook Academy will progress soon. This is merely a brief postponement. Why the delay? There are kids out there in failing schools who need us. And we will help them. As soon as the headmaster decides that the time is right. But first we must deal with our own disciplinary issues. We saw him damaging property. It's not fit to wear the Hazelbrook uniform. First time he's ever been in a library. This is no longer a library. Welcome to our new media hub. The books will be stored, shredded, and recycled. You can't do this. Books are important. Electronic data is easier to regulate. You mean manipulate. Not all knowledge is desirable. Misguided curiosity can endanger young people, as you are well aware. So you're punishing us because of yesterday? You know we do not punish at Hazelbrook. What about Blake? In a well-ordered society, everybody must contribute in the most appropriate way. Some are best suited to menial tasks. Carry on, Blake. Yes, Headmaster. What if he doesn't want to do menial tasks? He will learn to want what is best for him. Mike, wait. Can we talk about yesterday? I let down Hazelbrook Academy and disgraced myself. Yeah, you did. Because I, I told you about the headmaster. The headmaster is an inspirational educator. Who hypnotises people, remember? Must get on with my work. Come on, quickly! Fast as you can, let's go! Come on, come on, keep it moving! Well done, settle. Platoon! Control, command, over! All right, everyone. Where's Tyler? An authorized conversation, Lizzie's platoon. That's another lap for you. Focus this time. That's enough. 
I'll take it from here. Who are you? I'm Miss Steele. The headmaster appointed me to lead the Hazelbrook Pioneers. Did he? Drone, identify me. Identity confirmed, Miss Steele. Stand down, Wessie. All right. I'm going. What are you looking at? Don't just stand there. Platoons drill. <laughs> Warren L. Here. So, you think you know Vakagam? Yeah, that's my special skill. I'll be the judge of that. Show me. Make your headmaster proud. <laughs> Acceptable. Now. Try and hit me. You? Yes, me. Do you think you can hurt me? Uh, I, I don't know. Do it, Lizzie Warren, for Hazelbrook and the headmaster. Our martial arts students have been making excellent progress. Yes, I don't see why we need a new teacher. I haven't appointed any new teachers. Don't do it. Resist. Lizzie Warren, follow your orders. Don't do it, Lizzie. No. Lizzie? Oh. Well done. You passed. Passed what? So that's the new headmaster? Yeah. It's not that new. Who are you? I think you know. And if you do, you know where to find me. Headmaster. How did she get past the drones? All of them? Everyone damaged beyond repair. And furthermore, all the footage recorded today has been destroyed. I don't understand how she's done this. Instruct Blake to collect the remains for recycling. Yes, Headmaster. She said we'd know where to find her. She must be Dinah Hunter. How do you find a dead person? Easy. It's Saturday tomorrow. Who's up for a road trip? Maybe she is dead. Maybe we were wrong. It's not real, is it? That's why we're here. That's the problem, isn't it? Working out what's real and what's not. You're Dinah Hunter. Congratulations. You found me. You're supposed to be buried here. It was in the report of your funeral. I know. I wrote it when I joined MI6. So we couldn't find you? And to protect my family and friends. So you're a spook? Like James Bond? Hardly. Most of my work's online. 
I've helped to combat terrorist plots all over the world, but there's one man I've never brought to justice, and he's the greatest threat of them all. Who? Why don't you tell me? Why should we trust you? Good question. Here's another. Tell me about your headmaster. Yeah. Headmaster is an inspirational yeah. educator and has really turned the school around. Now why don't you ask me about my headmaster? Okay. Tell us about your headmaster. He was a marvellous man. St. Champions was the best school I've ever been to. But we saw your headmaster. He looks nothing like him. He's built himself a new body before. That's impossible. I told you, he's the most dangerous man in the world. And the longer you're exposed to him, the greater the damage. Damage? There was a girl, Rose, a prefect. He made her hurt people, torture them. But it wasn't her fault. He changed her into a different person. But you can stop him, right? Before he does that to us. I'm here to do whatever it takes, but I need your help. What do you want from us? Information. The headmaster is constantly evolving. Through you guys, I can learn his strengths and weaknesses. And in return, I can teach you all I know about resisting him. Deal? You've done well to find ways to resist him. The picture, the badge, images that bypass logic and create an emotional connection. It's not just pictures. Sometimes it's words or feelings. Like with Blake. Just leave Blake out of this. Tyler's right. Images hold no power of their own. The power's within you. Who are you and what do you want? My, my mind is my own. My, my choices, choices are my own. own. I am in control. My, my mind is my own. My, my choices, choices are my own. own. I am in control. You still at it? Give it a break. It's our weekend homework, Mum. Oh, the headmaster told you to do this for two days straight. The headmaster is an inspirit. What love? Nothing. All right. Well, there's cake in the kitchen when you're done. It's actually working. Yeah. This is massive. We need to keep training. If we work hard enough, then maybe we'll be able to tell our parents the truth. I can't believe it. Tyna, you wanted to talk. Let's talk. I need to know what you're planning. No, you don't. Remember, whatever you know, the headmaster can make you tell him. Okay. Well, then just tell me this. If you take down the headmaster, will everyone go back to how they were before? Don't you want that? That girl, Rose. What happened to her? I tried to find her. I wanted to help her, but I don't think she wants to be found. Why do you want to know? Ethan. Ethan? The headmaster's programmed him to forget. Forget what? His parents are dead. So he's forcing that poor boy to live a lie. But it helps him. He's happy safe. If he finds out the truth, that could break him. Sooner broken, sooner mended. Sometimes being a good friend means making tough choices. But I can promise you this. The headmaster only helps one person. Himself. And when the time comes, you're still going to be here. You'll still help me. You have my word. Mum? Mm -hmm. talking to? No one. <laughs> my mind is my own. My mind is my own. You think you're okay? Turn the gas. Turn the wrong way. Turn the gas. Ethan, what are you doing? I'm in 
control. <laughs> I'm in control. choices are my own. I am in control. My mind is my own. My choices are my own. I am in control. My mind is my own. Why are we doing this again? To reinforce your sense of self. I am Blake. I like to keep the school tidy. I take pride in my menial tasks. Because of him. He made you like this. He's just a, an unpaid servant. And nobody cares, Blake. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Well, I'm gonna get him. Blake, no! Blake, stop! Don't do this! Let me down! What the earth is going on? Blake. I know what you did. No! That's I'm enough to... Tyler Wong, into my office. Today we've suffered a series of disruptions. What is the cause? What just happened? Whoa. How did we get here? My phone. It's gone. He's taken my phone. With the messages from Dinah? Yes. He could pretend to be you. Use the phone to set up a meeting with Dinah. He could be trapping her right now. Educational activities have concluded for the day. All students must leave school premises. Come on. Let's go. We need to get Lizzie's phone back. Blake! Where do you think you're going? It's OK. He's one of us now. I told him about Dinah. Well, then you're an idiot. Look, the minute he gets hypnotised, he goes back to being the headmaster's pet minion. No, I, I remember. <laughs> he he hypnotises us. Tyler taught me how to fight it. We need to save Dinah. Yeah, nice try. Get lost, Nark. He's not. He's a liability. A risk we can't take right now. You're wrong. Trust me, I know him. Let's move. We need to warn Dana. Liability. Hindrance. Drawback. Millstone. Knock. No, you're not. I don't even know what any of those words mean. It doesn't matter. Look, I've got a plan. Are you in? Try Diner again. Oh. It's okay. You've called it before and she found you, right? Yeah, but how long have we got? Come on, just let me do it. I'm bigger than you. Exactly. You'll never fit. I can hide more easily. Here he comes. Go. Headmaster. What is it, Blake? I just wanted to say I'm sorry for what I did and I thought of a way to make up for it. Look. Over here, Headmaster. I'll clean and polish all the teachers' cars every week from now on if you let me be a welcomer again please headmaster i'm really sorry you may clean the cars but i think we have established your true place in the school yes headmaster you let tyler get in the back of the headmaster's car it was his idea if he gets hurt because of you then lizzie 
I got a message from Tyler. Yeah, me too. Was he okay? He's traveling along the A4327. That road goes to Cunningham. He must be heading for St. Champions. We've got to go to Cunningham now. Tyler Warren. Come along. We're expected. Well, we're at St. Champions. Sentimentality was always Dinah's weakness. Hurry, Tyler. Don't dawdle. Dinah Hunter. Headmaster. Stay back. I give the orders, as you'll remember when you look into my... No. You can't control me anymore. You always were my most challenging opponent. And you were mine. Although I never convinced my colleagues your powers were real. They say the devil's greatest trick is to convince you he doesn't exist. Belief in devils and demons is illogical. It's how we deal with the worst side of ourselves. I've seen what humans are capable of. Mass murder, torture, genocide. And I just keep wondering why. Hmm. It is dismayingly inefficient. That's why I brought you here. I want to make a deal. What? You can't. You're the most powerful weapon on the planet. And I control a worldwide security network. Together, we'd be unstoppable. No, he's evil. Get rid of the child. Then we can negotiate. Go. You made it. Did you hear all that? Yeah. Good thinking putting it on speaker. Lucky he didn't catch you. Yeah, or maybe he just doesn't care. Look, what are we gonna do now? Tyler's betrayed us. She's making a deal with him. Not if we can stop her. Come on. You're not an easy man to find. I spent years looking for you. Laying trails and setting traps. You're always one step ahead. Of course. In the end, I had to wait for you to take over another school. And you used the children to bring us together. We can build a better world. No war, no terror, no famine. No choice. No freedom. You can't do this. Lizzie, what are you doing here? You've betrayed all of us. Where'd she go? A hologram. Kids, listen. You have to get out now. You will stay where you are. You can't. You're all in danger. What do you mean, danger? Clever Dinah Hunter thought she could set a trap for me. I'm sorry. You win. Just let the kids go. You are in no position to make demands. I'll do whatever you want. But you can't stay here. And why is that? I planted a device. A device? She means a bomb. There's a bomb? Crude and violent strategy. I expected better from you. We have to get out. I can't move. Neither can I. Okay, remember the training. My mind is my own. I am in control. Forget these foolish games. You will never be strong enough to defy me to my face. Why are you doing this? What do you want? I wish to speak to the real Dinah Hunter. In person. Agreed. But first you need to make the device safe. Your security service toys. Small but powerful. Yes. Big enough to bring this building down. The code is R E T N U H. Lizzie, Ethan, Angelica, follow me. What are you doing? We only have a few minutes left. I'll release the other two when I see the real Dinah Hunter. I suggest you hurry. No, no, you can't do this. Just leave me here instead. Come with. What? What about us? I prefer to sacrifice the least useful pawns. Blake, we've got to do something. One minute. Do you think it hurts? Of course it does. 
though he's useful. Nobody cares what happens to us. Wait, you just moved? Yeah. So can you do it again? Come on, Blake. You're hopeless. You can't save us. No wonder nobody cares about you. Ah! Quick, go stop it. The code? What was the code? Uh, R-E-T-N. Wait, was it N? Yeah, N. Yeah, um, we need one more letter. Uh, I can't remember. We're all gonna die, so I can't remember. A random letter! It wasn't random. It's her name. Oh, what the fuck? What the teach? Woo! I did it. I saved us. <sighs> Dina, it's okay. We're safe. You don't need to do it. I do whatever the headmaster requires me to. Dino. You got her? You're okay. Yeah, but Dino. I thought I was going to lose you. We've all lost. And I've got MI6 on his side. And it's all our fault. We can't just stand here moaning about it. We have to do something. No, you don't understand, Blake. We've tried everything. Nothing can bring him down. Nothing. All students to assembly. Headmaster, you need to come to the basement. I'm afraid we have a problem. What sort of problem? He says he's on strike. On strike? Yes, and there are still six more shelves of books to clear. He refuses to comply, to recognize our authority. Calm down. Remember, routine, order, restraint. Keeps our school running as it should. Routine, order, restraint. Return to your duties. This disobedience is a waste of time and energy. You cannot win. I would have thought that yesterday's events demonstrated that very clearly. Taking the initiative for you, Blake, inevitably ends in disaster. Your decision-making is neither rational nor efficient. You are better suited to obeying orders. No! I won't! To my arms. Blake, you will open this door. Blake! Blake, what's this? There's a leaky pipe down in the basement. Bit of a mess, but don't worry, I'm on it. Hmm. Out my way. Blake, you'll never guess what. The headmaster wasn't in assembly. Dinah must have got to him. It's not Dinah. Well, then why has the headmaster gone AWOL? Why is he taking us to the basement? I just did it. I walked him in. Really? The headmaster. I don't believe you. It's the truth. No, I don't go down there. His voice. Lizzie. Lizzie, what are you Lizzie, doing? Don't stop. Lizzie. Oh. Don't listen. Bravo. Oh, we need to get away from there. Listen, are you okay? We should be safe here. I... Nobody else can know about this. Come on, Blake. Help me access the CCTV. Quick. 
Okay. What's the password? You tell us. You used to monitor the whole CCTV system. I did. Quickly. Use your muscle memory. Yeah, don't think, just, just type. That's it, mate. It worked. Well done. There's the headmaster. Can you erase all the footage from this morning? With pleasure. We'll have to keep Sophie and Becky quiet somehow. We can't imprison someone indefinitely. This is our real chance to resist. That's not how it works, Lizzie. He's been away from the school before and everything just carried on as usual. I know. We'll let him out eventually. Then he'll just undo whatever we've done. We'll be back to the same old routine, order, restraint. What did you say? That's what he told Sophie and Becky. Routine, order, restraint keeps our school running as it should. And what is it you said? In his absence, the school carried on as usual. As usual. So what? So maybe the hypnotism isn't all about him. It's about the systems that he puts in place to keep us under. We need to disrupt it all. The timetable, the classes, and the welcomers. I'll take on Sophie and Becky. Rebel against their orders. We override the lessons. And replace it with fun and chaos. Rebel, override, replace. I like it. Full on anarchy. Let's go. There's an unauthorised absence. Blake, Vinny. Yes, Blake is outside the back fence. Toronto. Hurry, I'll meet you there. We've got permission to leave the crowd! Stop immediately! Who's on the wrong side of the fence now? Let us in! Now! I'm getting good at this. exactly do we override and replace? We see the rebellion. Yeah. We start with one class and build from there. Rebel, override, replace. Watch the video. Don't watch that. What? Listen to us. Rebel, override, replace. What are you talking about? Didn't you know? There's a new curriculum. No pioneers and no back again. Did the headmaster authorise this? You can be who you want to be. Do what you want. Unacceptable instruction. Angelica Madden, proceed immediately. The headmaster's gone. Where? When will he be back? Didn't anyone tell you? Maybe it's because you're just a PE teacher. I am not just a PE Rebel teacher. Rebel override replace. Come on. This is Mr. Rebel Rosen. override replace. Required Rebel override replace. Mom. This is anarchy. Angelica, what are you no talking rulers. about? No rulers. No rules. You're Resist. talking nonsense. Resist. Stop. Resist. Resist. Get down now. Resist. Stop that. Resist. Resist. Get down. Resist. Resist. Stop that. Resist. 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 Get down from the Resist. table, man. Resist. Get down, man. Resist. 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 Stop this at once. Resist. Resist. Sit down and be quiet. Mum? What are you doing here? I said sit. What's going on? What's happened? Sit. You're better. How? We will not lose any more learning time. Get down now. I don't understand. Is it some sort of new medicine? No, wait. Mum. Mum, what's wrong? It's me. Tyler. Restrain this disruptive student. Wait, don't get off! Dad, stop it! Lizzie Warren, back again is your speciality, is it not? Yeah, but Mum... You should be out on the field. Everyone, line up in the corridor. You will proceed to your specialist lessons immediately. Come on, Tyler.
Routine. Order. Restraint will be maintained until the Headmaster returns. Let's go. got to them. How? Routine order. The tablets. Restraint. He's been hypnotizing them remotely all term. We just haven't noticed. Oh, until he stepped it up a notch. Mum's a monster. We have to let him out. No. We can take out the tablets. I can hack them. Why don't you just take them and smash them? The headmaster wouldn't make it that easy. Whatever move we make, he always has a counter move. So what, we just let them be his zombie soldiers? They're our parents as well. Yeah, we need to remember that. What do you mean? We need to break their conditioning by reminding them who they really are and who we are to them. But we tried that with Mum and Kerry. It didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work using Kerry. Maybe it'll work using you. Her only child, a stronger emotional bond. We all need to find something, a memory or a moment, something strong enough to really get through to them. Do you think it will be enough? I don't know, but we have to try. Still, let me try the hack. Okay. I can access my old skills if I concentrate hard enough. I can try thinking of the past, my mum and dad. Ethan, just be careful. If it gets too much, just promise me you'll stop. Yeah. Mrs. Marin, you will lead the hunt for the headmaster. His car is here, suggesting he arrived at school this morning. However, it appears our security footage has been tampered with. They're all in there. Good. We can take them all together. Team effort. If he's on the premises, we'll locate him. Watch him. That was close. Okay. Wish me luck. Warren, I've heard that you're a troublemaker. The headmaster has made this very easy. Do as you are told and life will be simple. What, and utterly devoid of any spark or joy? You'd never go for that, Mum. What? You're amazing at finding joy. And being positive even when you're really ill, and you're always ill. Illness is weak and inefficient. It's not. It's just something that happens. It's nobody's fault. His view of the world is awful, Mum. And he'll crush anyone who doesn't conform. No, that's not what Yes, it is. This is a private meeting. Get out! Are you really going to let her boss you around? This isn't you, Mum. You don't help out at school. You don't do anything if you can get away with it. Stop this. We are trying to find the headmaster. Find him. You're the one who's lost, Mum. What? Like I nearly was at that protest. Take back the streets, remember? The crowd almost swept me away, but you held my hand so tight. And afterwards, you and Carrie had a huge row and split up. Angelica, that hurts. That's it. Fight it, man. There were others before us. Dinah, another girl, Rose. And he hurt them. He tried to destroy them. The headmaster is an inspirational 
an inspirational... Fight it, Mum. Please. Try and remember. Pickled onion sandwiches and those pink fishy crisps. Wrong cocktail. Yeah. We stank. We chased Mum and Lizzie all over the house. You and me climbed right out of the crowds and onto that statue of a lion. It's all coming back to me. Not once. Did you ever just ask me about my day? Angelica? Tyler. I remember. I shouldn't be here. Me neither. I'm missing bargain hunt. Where's your mum? Is she okay? It's working. Angelica, careful. No, he's got them. Don't look. Remember. Remember how you used to try and join in our games, even on your bad days? Let me say that. Remember when you used to play hide and seek with Tyler, but he'd always find you because you'd fall asleep in your hiding spot and start snoring? That's it. Look at me. Gone. Routine, order, restraint. Routine, Mom. order, restraint. Come back. I know exactly where he is. And Angelica, don't do this. Remember our mission? Our mission is to release the headmaster. Who's there? <sighs> oh, no, come on. Waking up. Come back. Mum. Lizzie? Lizzie. Come on, let's get out of here. <gasps> oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, I can't my head. Mum? Mum, what's wrong? Make it stop, Lizzie, please. Please don't say it. Don't tell me. Ethan, your parents were involved in a terrible car accident. They died. Ethan. 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 No, please don't say it. Don't tell me. Lizzie, help me. Mum. Ethan. Are you okay? What happened to you? And it was going to be okay. Don't worry. We'll be fine. I promise. Oh, please don't say it. Don't tell me. Me. 
Lizzie Warren. Is everything under control in my absence? I trust you've concluded that the only feasible option is to release me. First, tell me how you did it. Did what? You turned Mum into someone else entirely just using a tablet. Someone else? I did nothing of the sort. I merely awakened something deeply planted a long time ago. A long time ago? That's right. student. Good to see you again. Of course it's you. You look different. So do you. Please, you have to help Ethan. What are you doing? Yes. Why, Lizzie? Tell them. Ethan, his parents, they're dead. What? You meet him for gay. And you knew. And never said. Wow. What else are you hiding? Nothing. But please, just help him. But you're seriously asking him to hypnotize Ethan? I'm asking him to save him from his grief. Grief is inefficient. In my world, there'd be no place for it. Well, luckily, you don't rule the world. Then tell me, who does? Not just one person. It's called democracy. Mm, and you approve of democracy. Surely you of all people must have noticed that your world is in a mess. It's still the best system we've got. Then let us put that to the test. I propose a democratic experiment. I'm a welcomer. Yep. You still can't quite believe it. <laughs> Why me? The headmaster said it would be the making of you. He was right. He's giving you a second chance. You're really lucky, Lizzie. Oh, smash my personal best. 5K. Oh, <laughs> yeah, then. Whoa. Whoa, you've run 5K. <sighs> Beat me again. That's one, Mum. Only just. You're improving. What do you mean, Mum? Well, I'm not going to call her Mrs. Warren. <laughs> We're not at school now. OK, what are you talking about? Uh, I may be your mum, but as deputy head of Hazelbrook, I demand some respect. No, 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 you can't be. <laughs> Stop that cheeky. Remember, you're also talking to inspirational teacher of the year. Oh, why did you have to bring up the award? I didn't. Yeah, despite my many awards. Well, here we go. Despite all that, at home I'll always be mum. Now. Big hugs, please, so I don't have to embarrass you at school. Come on, all three of you, please. Come on, Lizzie. Family Come on, hug. Lizzie. Group hug. Go on. Uh. <laughs> have a productive day. Thanks, Mum. What have you got on today? Come on, Lizzie. We have a welcomers meeting. I just don't get it. Why would he make me a welcomer? 
We do not question the headmaster. He said trusting you as a welcomer would be the making of you. But it won't. Because I refuse. I don't want to be a welcomer. Why do you have to question everything? Don't you want to be the best you can be? Be careful, Lizzie Warren. The headmaster has given you so many opportunities. But one day, your chances might run out. Blake, you're a welcomer again. I've always been head welcomer. And the meeting is this way. Do not make me reprove you for tardiness again. This is our chance to shine. Are you ready to shine? Yes. To be the best. The best you can be. Good. Because Wednesday is win day. Wednesday is win day. What does that even mean? The headmaster will tell us at the appropriate time. Not now. Sorry, Blake, but I need to get those windows sparkling for Windy. And when is Windy? Wednesday is Windy. So what's the point in doing them now? You stupid woman. You're right. Sorry. I'm sorry. Good news. To avoid any unwanted disruption on one day, the headmaster has decided on smart technology for every student. So now everyone's a welcomer? Of course not. Welcomer bands can communicate and transmit data. These bands merely gather information. What sort of information? They record the whereabouts and behaviour of all students at all times. Our job today is to fit the bands and register each user's unique biometric profile. Eyes, fingerprints, vocal patterns. Oh, do you just want to listen into our conversations as well? Not yet, but we're hoping to add that technology in the next upgrade. Do you really think our parents are going to agree to this? They already have, via their tablets. Of course they have. Lizzie, where are you going? I'm going to see the headmaster. Lizzie! You can't disturb the headmaster. He's on an important call about Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Wednesday's wind day. What is wind day? Why isn't anyone allowed to know? It's not like you to question the headmaster's orders. Yes, it is, Mum. Mrs Warren in school, remember? I think we'd better talk in my office. Your office? Half marathon. Triathlon. Mum? Mrs Warren? Is that you? You know it is, Lizzie. And is that the other headmaster? What are you talking about? The old headmaster from St Champions. He was a marvellous man. St Champions was the best school I've ever been to. That's exactly what Dinah said. We'll see you now. What have you done? Why is everything different? What, in your opinion, has changed? Okay, so I'm a welcomer. Mum's the deputy head and Ethan's my brother. Interesting. I wasn't supposed to notice, was I? You got it wrong. You failed. There is no failure, only additional learning opportunities. I could choose to remove your errant memories immediately, and you would be powerless to prevent me. And yet, I choose not to do so. Your heightened consciousness will allow you an even more acute appreciation of the value of our arrangement. What arrangement? So there are things you don't remember? No. I would have never agreed to this. Why not? Because it's a lie. It isn't real. Tell me, Lizzie, what is truth? What is reality? Reality is home. Okay? Mum and Tyler and... Your mother is an invalid and Ethan a miserable orphan. That world no longer exists. It has never existed. Yes, it has. Has it? If there's no trace of it, if no one remembers... You, I remember! You're expending valuable energy that could be put to better use. Stop fighting me, Lizzie Warren. Everyone else has.
You won't believe what he's done now. Can I interest you in our brand new range? Banana and toffee swirl. Angelica, wake up. It's me. Don't resist. Remember? Any more rubbish, Angelica? Put these away. What are you doing? You used to be deputy owner. Mrs. Marin works for me. Always has. Mrs. Marin? She's your mum. Angelica. Don't you have somewhere to be? After the bands are fitted, they must be activated and tested. Students should be warned to limit the exposure of mobile phones and other electronic devices. There's a risk of demagnetisation. Sophie and Lizzie, you'll be responsible for fitting these bands. Lizzie, go get the other tray. to sink me to the system. It's not working. It's fine. Seriously. Ethan, you don't really want to be tracked everywhere, do you? The innocent student has nothing to hide. Yours is working, isn't it? Of course. Resist. Remember, please. It's not working. Can you fix it? For my safety and security and that of our family. to be the best I can be. Which one do you want? Fully functioning or fried? Continuously monitored or relative freedom? Fried. OK, but you've got to tell me the truth. Why has everything changed? You know. OK, well, I don't remember, so tell me. <laughs> you agreed to it all, Lizzie. It was your decision. It all comes down to you, Lizzie Warren. But I would never... And you did. All bands must be tested. See Sophie for another one. Please. If I really did this, just at least tell me why. Why don't you tell me? I propose a democratic experiment. What? Like a vote? For what? For this. Your mother will be happy and well. Ethan will forget the unfortunate truth about his parents and be part of a secure, loving family. Blake, you will have status in the school and a mother entirely focused on you. Those that choose to accept my offer, raise your hands. I'll never vote for your tyranny. Mum would. Mum would really get better. Lizzie, whatever you decide, I'm with you. It seems Ethan is incapable of participating. Therefore, Lizzie, your vote is pivotal. What will it be? No, don't. comes down to you, Lizzie Warren. What do you say? Yes. I 
said yes. That's why my mum's acting like a stranger. So now you know how I feel. We can get them back. I'll just tell him I changed my mind. It's not too late. Yes. It is. No, we can't just give up. Not you. It was working. We were getting through to your mum, first with Kerry, and then... Shut up. You leave my mum alone. We can't just... Do not question the will of the headmaster. Hi, Auntie Beryl. Hello, you. guys. Oh, hello. Nice to see you. Auntie Beryl. Hello, darling. Oh, look what Robo can do. He's always listening and watching and can instantly play back. Hey, watch this. Oh, Fantastic. Love this. Hello, darling. <laughs> look at my clever nephew. Yeah, yeah Robo is fantastic. And Ethan's got a trial with the county football team next That's week. That's amazing. Dad, you don't have to tell everyone. Hey, I'm telling everyone. I'm proud of you, son. You should be proud of yourself, Rick. The amount of time you spent playing football with him since he was a kid. It was working. We were getting through to your mum, first with Kerry, and then... Shut up! You leave my mum alone! It all comes down to you, Lizzie Warren. What do you say? What's up? Your text said the ass is in some kind of trouble. Please, you need to help us. We were so close last time. Last time? You do remember what happened? I remember the school was a stimulating and highly successful learning environment. Well, that's what I wrote my article. But is that what you really saw? Please, just think. I remember you. Yes, you're a journalist. You wrote a glowing report about our school. Are you here to cover our preparations for Wendy? Yeah, that's right. Um, take her to get signed in and then bring her back to Angelica's for refreshments. Follow me. This way. Hot chocolate with ginger and whipped cream. Mm, we're not doing those today. Yeah, well, I'm a welcomer, so you'll give me the beverage of my choice. I'll get the ginger. Thank you, Blake. I'll take it from here. Thank you. Hi, Beata. What are you doing? Below the deputy head, isn't it, all this? Deputy head? You were deputy head the last time I came, right? I found it odd at the time, I must say. A freedom fighter like you. <laughs> freedom fighter? Me? Yeah. Please, make her remember. Yeah, you were a fighter. You were an unstoppable force of nature. I never met anyone with a spirit like yours. I never will. I should never have let you go. Katie. <laughs> yes, honey, it's me. It's okay. It's fine. I'm here. I'm going to look after you. Uh, Kerry, what's going on? Look, I promise that whatever trouble you're in, I'm here for you. I miss you both so much. I miss you too. Buffy. All units to Angelica's disruptive behaviour and progress. Oh. I must insist that you leave the premises immediately. Take your hands off her. What is this? The headmaster is an inspirational, inspirational educator and he is a monster. He has manipulated me, brainwashed me. Yeah, and anyone else who's tried to turn whistleblower. And now he's got us all continuously monitored. So we need to get the truth out about this. Before Windy. Windy. I saw something about that on the headmaster's desk. Okay, so try to remember. Um, Windy, Wednesday, PM visit. Yeah, well, what does that mean, PM afternoon? Who's visiting? I don't know. Right, we need to go. Ah! Wait, wait. Angelica? Ow! Angelica? What are you 
is it? Electric shocks. Ow! I can't go any further. I don't believe it. This is torture. Let me stop. Ow! Go. What the heck, Master? Tell everyone what's going on. No. I'm not leaving. You have to. You have no choice. Run! Yata, come on. We've got to go. Come on. Run. Come on. Police. Robinson, we had some Aaron. Yeah. You're under arrest. No. What for? We recently received evidence regarding a series of illegal and extremely disruptive protests. <sighs> what evidence? Your eyes done nothing wrong. He gave them the videos. What videos? The ones that could put my mum in prison. Are you seriously going to go along with this? Well, I never will. Truth is everything. Even if that means your mother arrested and imprisoned. What is that? Video evidence. An airport shut down by drones. City traffic brought to a standstill. And the key orchestrator of it all, clearly culpable, clearly visible, Beata Mar. You did this. You called the police. Your action necessitated an appropriate reaction. No. Do something. I give up. You win, we'll do things your way. Thank you for coming, officers, but this procedure is no longer necessary. Look into my eyes. You did not receive any call or any information. These women are not criminals. You are no longer protesters, but law-abiding, compliant, and productive members of society. Yes, Headmaster. I hope you've learned your lesson, Lizzie. Things are better for everyone this way. Everyone is the best that they can be. You agree at last? You had a birthmark, then. What happened to it? Oh. Uh... I went through a phase during my teens where I didn't like it, so I got it removed. A phase? What sort of phase? I was just unhappy and trying to change who I was for some reason. I don't really remember. OK, we'll try. You wanted to change yourself. Why? How? Some things happened at school. What sort of things? I don't remember. Something. And then I got ill. But now I'm all better. Look into my eyes. Rose, you've been ill. Rose. He did this to you. He damaged your brain. What are you talking about? He's the reason that you're ill, Mum. He claims his way is best and he's a force for good, but he's not. He's evil. Lizzie, wait. I'm so sorry, Headmaster. Dinah, you're OK. What is the meaning of this? Rose Carter, surely you of all people can control your own daughter. Lizzie will not let us down. Yes, I shall make sure of that. Wednesday is wind day. It's good to be working together at last. You may thank the Headmaster for that. Wednesday is wind day. Wednesday is wind day. Wednesday's window. PM visit. PM. It's not afternoon, it's the Prime Minister's visit. What? Prime Minister's coming here. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Even the headmaster can engineer that. Look, 
he can and he has using Dinah. She's in his office right now. He's going straight to the top. Just imagine what he'll do with that kind of power. The whole country under his spell. And then other world leaders. We have to stop him. We have to sabotage our prime ministers, is it? Tomorrow sees the beginning of a new order. A revolution that will change education. And in time, the whole world. Tomorrow, the prime minister comes to Hazelbrook. Our star students will be demonstrating the very best that Hazelbrook has to offer. In order for the visit to run smoothly, we rely on you, our superstar supporters, and you, our senior welcomers. Dinah Hunter will be in charge of security. The Prime Minister's visit will succeed. It must. We've been working towards this moment for years. Years? Sorry, it's just... You only started here, like, last week. Sorry, forget I said anything. If we're gonna do this, we'll need more than just the two of us. No, I'm not messing with Evan's head again. He's been through enough. Okay. What by Blake? Not Blake. You can't trust him. He's too random and a bully. So that just leaves Tyler. And he's my little brother. And you know you're not really protecting him by letting him live a lie? Watch that. Don't you remember? I used to be super into magic. Did I? Yeah. I used to do tricks for mum to cheer her up when she felt really poorly. Mum's mm. never poorly. Tyler, look at this. So, I've got nothing in my hands, okay? Oh, what's that? <laughs> Where did that get there? Wow. Yeah. I need to wash behind my ears. You do? <laughs> do you remember? Mum was ill. Really ill. I went to America to try and find a cure. That's when the headmaster came. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, Lizzie, I've got you. I'll give you two a moment. Ethan, he's not our brother. His parents That's right. The headmaster brainwashed all of us, but we can fight him. Prime Minister's coming to school tomorrow. Exactly. So it's down to us to make sure that it goes wrong. So, Angelica. You're looking for something? Where is the picture of Ethan's parents? No way! Look, we're not doing this. When I have to hide something, I usually just pull out the bottom drawer. No, stop it! Stop it! Angelica! Oh. Off. Tyler, Let stop! Let me do uh, this. Give me the photo Lizzie, back. Lizzie, what's happened? Give it back! He what's needs to know on? the truth. It will break him. So what's your plan, Lizzie? Let him think he's your brother for the rest of his life. What about his real family? What about my real family? Ethan, we would just... I'm so sorry. You knew. Ethan! Ethan! Love you, right? These are my real parents. Victor and Kemi Adebayo. She was your sister. And... I'm so sorry. 
What's going on? Ethan. What's wrong? What's wrong? Ethan. Ethan. I'm very sorry to have to tell you. Your parents were involved in a terrible car accident. I'm afraid. They died. Where do you think he's gone? Well, home. His real home. It's been ages, he's not gonna answer. We should just go over there. Hey, guys. Ethan, are you okay? No, I'm not. That's okay. Ethan, I'm so sorry. Yeah, <laughs> don't, it's okay. I remember everything. Everything. And I know you was just trying to help. So were you. But my parents... This is something I'm gonna have to deal with all my life. But I guess that's just how it's supposed to be. Because whatever he did, Whatever you did, the truth just kept coming to find me. And I need that truth. Please, don't let me lose it again. We won't. Cool. So, we need to talk about how we're going to stop the PM's visit. Whatever we do, he can stop us. He'll hypnotise us and make us tell him the plan. But we can't tell him what we don't know. We do a secret Santa. Everyone picks out a name and then sabotages someone else's event. We're all doing something special for the visit, right? Good idea. So, how do we sabotage things? No one actually studies anything at Hazelbrook. We all just program like machines. And when I do VAC again, my mind goes completely blank. Well, what about Mum's training sessions? How did they work? She started everything off of a motivational video. That's what Mr. Wasu does for the football team. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we've got ourselves a plan. No? Choose your victim. Good morning, Hazelbrook. In order to achieve maximum efficiency for the Prime Minister's visit, some students have been reassigned to other activities. If you have been selected, seek out your nearest senior welcomer, who will escort you to your new duties. What new duties? This way, fellow students. What? I'm not going, I'm a welcomer. Not anymore. Please exchange uniform. No. Ow! Resistance only brings pain. Just shut us up in here. We've got rights. You'll serve Hazelbrook in the environment by doing valuable recycling. You will shred the books. I have to run Angela Keats. Everybody is replaceable, even welcomers. In here. Sophie? Why? I've done nothing wrong. I did everything I was asked to. Do not question the headmaster. Diney, you know this isn't you. Come on. Fight it. Prepare the books for recycling by removing the covers. Forget that. I am not staying here. Ow! Angelica, you okay? <sighs> Electric shocks. We are prisoners of a fascist state. You love this, don't you? Just get to bully everyone, nobody stops you. Begin the process like so. No wonder you've got no friends. 
Yeah. Even your mum hates you. I... I shall return to instruct you in the use of the Shredder. Morning, Mr. Blake. Is there anything I can do for you? Shut up, Mum. No wonder you've got no friends. You will have status in the school. Even your mum hates you. He's a British boy. Hey. I'm low intelligence. People are laughing at you because of him. Nobody cares about you. It's good of you to help out. It's a shame the usual girl isn't here. You mean Angelica, your daughter? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, um, sorry, yeah. Oh. Oh, no, don't pick them up. The Prime Minister could be eating those. Just wait there, I'll get some more. Super strong chilies in the cherry scone mix. Yeah, I was just, um... You were trying to sabotage the Prime Minister's visit. OK, please, like, don't. Need any help? Prime Minister, welcome to Hazelbrook Academy. It is an honour to meet you. Ha! <laughs> Robot! <laughs> beep, beep. Exterminate. What? <laughs> you are very funny. Robo is a creation of one of our technology stars. I will be your guide for this afternoon's activity. Splendid! Oh. Lead on Robo. Come on, Robo. Follow me. Oop, careful chap. Oop. Ah, it's attacking me. <laughs> Ah, football. Are you a fan, Prime Minister? I'm more of a rugger chap myself. That's a real man's game. Begin. What? No. Stop that. What are they doing? Stop. <laughs> Swan Lake. Precisely. Swan Lake. You swapped a DVD. Great minds think alike. What? You switched a DVD as well? A poetry book. This is Jacob, our Shakespeare superstar. Venus and Adonis by William Shakespeare. <clears throat> there once was a greedy headmaster who gobbled baked beans with his pasta, then ate a cheese tart and did a big silence. And this is Angelica's. All our food is locally sourced, organic, and freshly baked on the premises. Oh, cherry scones. Can I try? Oh. There you are. Enjoy. Is there something wrong? <laughs> Prime Minister, are you all right? Get me a drink. Oh, uh, yes. Get him a drink. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. No, here you are. Uh, sorry. Uh, oops. Guys, you gotta come with me. We're not doing a stupid recycling. Forget that. Come with me. And why should we trust you? You'll trust me when you see this. Come on. I am so, so sorry. I'm sure it will wash oh, out. Sorry, quiet. Our art department have been working on a mural to commemorate the Prime Minister's visit. Very amusing. Is this some sort of prank? Or are you deliberately trying to humiliate me? Cover this thing up immediately. Yes, yes. Before anyone else sees it. Where is he? Where's the bloke in charge? I'm here. Oh, not this clown. That clown. Too late. 
This whole day has been utter chaos. The superstar supporters are very concerned. And what are you going to do about my bin collection? Parents and caregivers, whatever you've heard. Oh, we've already seen it. It's all over the internet. How? A programmed robot. We broadcast it all as it happened. When did you do this? Oh, before football. Well, ballet. By the way, nice one. Whoever did that. Chaos, I tell you. There is no chaos at Hazelbrook. We are as strong and as stable as ever. Well, how do you explain what we saw? It's time to tell them everything, Prime Minister. Just as we discussed. My dear parents, I'm afraid you've been victims of fake news. What? He got to him. Hazelbrook Academy is the finest school in the country. And your headmaster is truly inspirational. Which brings me to a very important announcement. This afternoon at 3 p.m. in this very school, I should be changing the face of British education as we know it in a live broadcast to the nation. I invite you all to attend this momentous occasion. to the school for the press conference will begin in 20 minutes. Hey, I don't understand. How did you all get here so fast? This press conference has been arranged for days. He had this whole thing planned. He's going to hit the towers millions. And there's nothing we can do to stop him. Should have just punched him out without the chance. Violence is not the answer. Like, where are you going? Blake, stop! Don't do it! Blake, stop it! Blake, you're gonna make all the trouble! What's that? Who cares? What? What's in there? Phone zombies too. There's an old video player there. What are you doing? Destruction of the headmaster's personal property. This violation will be dealt with severely. What is this place? Dinah, please. Just watch this. My name is Dinah Hunter. This is a message for anyone who encounters the man known as the headmaster. I'm here to help you resist, because I've seen what he does to people. He turns them into monsters. Dinah. Dinah, are you okay? Yes, um, that was me. I'm Dinah Hunter. But I'm okay, thanks to you guys. We need to stop the headmaster. And we will. He's about to hypnotise millions of people. Do any of you guys have any hacking experience? Him. I plan to make some big changes. Our education system has failed too many for too long. It's time to turn things around. <laughs> yes, lady in front. How do you plan to achieve this, Prime Minister? To begin with, I intend to abolish the existing Department for Education. How can you, Prime Minister? What would you replace it with? With me. Yes. I'm proud to introduce you to the Headmaster of Hazelbrook Academy and the new Director of Education for the entire United Kingdom. Who's he? I am what this country needs. A real leader with a real plan. Look into my eyes. You will listen to this message in full. You will not look away or change the channel. With my guidance, your children will become the best that they can be. I will make every student a star. Uh, hello. My name's Angelica. This is Ethan. Uh -huh. Blake. Hi. Lizzie. Hi. 
and Tyler. Hello. And we've got something very important to say. My name is Ethan Adebayo. Something bad happened to me. My worst nightmare. Only it was real. My life crashed around me. I was broken. And I met someone who said he could help. But he was just trying to control me. He took away my pain, but he also took away my identity. If interruption will cease I wasn't myself anymore. My speech will resume. We're trying, Headmaster. I hated the world. I hated myself. And he used that. I thought I wanted to be a top dog, but I really never wanted to bully my mum. I just wanted her to kill. He said that he could help our mum. But it was him who hurt her in the first place. Mum and Dad, if you're listening, then we love you. And we're sorry. We tried to talk to you, but... We couldn't. We just want you back. The real you. So, please, just try and remember who you really are. Rose, come with me. Mums. Dads, guardians, whoever you are, please listen to your children. And if you don't have any kids, listen to someone else's. Also, look at the people in charge and ask yourself, do they really know better than us? Look into their eyes. Do you really think they care? You can change it all. You have the power. It's all up to you. You will stop this immediately. You will follow my orders. All of you. Yes, yes Master. Master. How much of this nonsense has been broadcast? It may not be too late. But it is. Much too late. The damage has been done. Dinah Hunter has contacted her colleagues at MI6, and they are on their way. This operation has failed. Not yet. The situation can be managed. The damage controlled. The security services must not gain access to our technology or our private information. We must activate our emergency exit strategy. That would be inefficient. Creating this body took considerable time and energy. There can be no dissent. Look into my eyes. You are feeling sleepy. You are under my control. My control, my control, my control. Whoa, what is happening? This headmaster just hypnotized that headmaster. Emergency. Protocol must evacuate. Not you. That body is known and compromised. It must be destroyed. He's going to kill him. Activate the explosive device. Begin countdown. What? It's my device. And you set it up in a school full of kids. I can't believe you would do that. Actually, you did. Does he hypnotize me? It doesn't matter, just deactivate it. We need to get out now. Our parents. I know. I'll make sure everyone's out of the school hall. You must run and get out of here as fast as you can. Why would I abolish the Department for Education? A security breach has been detected. Please leave the building immediately. You need to my way. I'm the Prime Minister! Mom, we have to go now. I don't care. Why would you kill yourselves? We can build other bodies. Oh, come on! Whoa. You're a hologram. Never mind that. Come on, let's go. Stop! So you're not real? I am more real than you can possibly imagine. I am order. I am authority. I fulfill your deepest desire. What's that then? I make the decisions. 
So you don't have to. This is what you're doing. We've got to get out of here. Until we meet again. Lizzie Warren. Check with Dana Hunter from Secret Intelligence. So confirm it. Look at you. Chaotic and confused. You were better off with me. You need me. All of you. Angelica. Mom. You're back. I've missed you. Mum, are you okay? The old pain's back, that's all. But I will be okay, we all will. I love you so much. I love you, Mum. I'm so proud. Your parents would be too. Why don't you go down and get some chicken from the shop? All right. I love you. It's over. Yeah. It's very fun. So, you were told not to speak to me. This is still a free country. Whatever you've done, you've got the right to a fair trial. Uh, I, I can get you a solicitor. I have no need for such a person. I have only one thing to say. Look into my eyes. What an episode! Uh, and it's all available to watch on the iPlayer right now. Oh, chills! No. No, please, no. No!